Alright folks, we are here to talk about the magnum opus, to talk about John Woo, to jerk off at the greatness that is John Woo, because let me tell you something, out of the three John Woo movies, The Killer, A Better Tomorrow, and Hard Boiled, I would say in America, uh, Hard Boiled is probably one of his more popular ones, because you know, obviously The Matrix was very much inspired, but... Better Tomorrow is another one of those uh, movies that is, has been inspired by a lot of people. Wu Tang, whether it's Wu Tang Clan, whether it's action directors and stuff like that, because it it hits all those lines of what John Wu does: melodrama, action, and characters, and also Chow Young Fat looking suave as hell in all three of them goddamn movies. Because Jesus, I, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way right now. I'm gonna say this right now, sir. Uh, today's uh, drinking game for a better tomorrow goes as follows for every cigarette that pops up on screen please take a sip motherfucker smoke i like have a, i have one thing to in uh to add on to that every time and every time and if you people are watching this on our youtube page and anywhere else if you see chai young fat doing this look take a drink because he does that like all the <laughs> like it's I, just so lower grill. It's just have lower one. grill of Chow Young Fat. And I have another one to add to that. For every time the mm, the K drama style music sting comes in, <laughs> take a drink. Now this every is a movie that has been remade not once but twice. Now was yeah, a remake it from, from, from in different countries, right? Or was it, it yeah, or so, within the same country? So the uh, South Korea did a better tomorrow in 2010, and mm -hmm. I think in 2018 they did one that was uh yeah Chinese China yeah because I knew one was from Hong Kong one was yeah. a Hong Kong movie. I knew that yeah. you know like you the 2010 the 2010 one got received pretty well from what I remember and stuff but like the 2018 one not so much I tell you this you know it's only a matter of time before Infernal Affairs gets remade in its home country. You think they will? I have a feeling they would. If anything, they would probably. Might. It's anything, beloved over there. I wouldn't. It's think very. They would touch it's it. definitely beloved, but I could see it being remade. Just the first one. Side note: Like uh, I don't I, think they're gonna do the whole trilogy. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Side, side, side note: movie. I love how Andy Law took a fucking just a shiv to the fucking Departed over here in his way. Like, yeah, you know, movie's fine, but you know, Departed better. You know, go watch it. Just, just watch that. And stuff. I was like, oh, Andy Law, I love you. I just love how you just, just look at Scorsese and was like, you see the shiv? Yeah, <laughs> right there. Right there. I think, you know, here's the thing. It is, and here's the fucked up part about it. As much as, and everybody agreed with it, the part it deserved it. Oh, it's great. But it's great. when you look at it side by side, you can tell that Scorsese was doing a different film that wasn't his usual shit, but he mm -hmm. did it very well. But it's like, Good white people, that's good for you. <laughs> you know, let's like, you know, look at this movie over movie. here, though. Because <laughs> Infernal Affairs, and we'll do that one day in all three by geese. We're going to eventually do that one, but um, it's a way better movie. A trilogy it's, day, a movie. Look, I mean, it's a whole. I told you guys about this trilogy, dude. Look, because you know what I was. I thought it was before we go to Better Tomorrow, because Better Tomorrow also has a trilogy. We'll yep. talk about that in a second. But Infernal Affairs, oh, trilogy, and we're going through this trilogy, by the way. Oh, we will go through this. Trilogy, <laughs> but like. Nigga. I laugh at the fact that Infernal Affairs, right? When I remember seeing the sequel, I was like, "Hold up, this is a this is a flashback to when they were in the academy." I was like, "Son of a bitch, Scorsese just took pieces." Okay, <laughs> yep. Okay, yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. And then the third no. movie was, yeah. and then the third movie, and then the third Infernal Affairs. I was like, 
oh, so this is what Marky Mark kept saying he wanted his sequel to be. I was like, God damn it, white people. God damn it. Because you literally, and y'all literally sat down one Friday night, watched all three movies back to back and said, we want to take this, here's this, and this. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and I we're going to do, I hold on. And then we're going to do this in the sequel when this movie does very well at the box office. <laughs> here's, here's, here, here's the thing. I know how Scorsese went through it. Scorsese like, oh no, that'll be a good nod. That'll be a good nod. That'll be a good nod. All be good. Here's Mark and Mark. Yeah, fucking copy all of it. <laughs> <laughs> word for goddamn word. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking Scorsese get the uh, script the next day. The fuck is this? It was you, wasn't it, Jack? Jack, like, I'm not in the freaking scene, man. <laughs> no, I said freaking. <laughs> the check didn't even clear. <laughs> not even in the freaking scene, man. It was like this. Are you back 92, Jack? No, I just did coke. <laughs> Which brings me to a better tomorrow. I am surprised there's no American remake of this movie. There does not there will need be. to be. There will be. There will be. And after there will years be. of this movie's been be. out, I'm shocked. There will be. There will be. It doesn't need to be made. Oh, it does. I honestly, I honestly say this: if, if they were to make it, you had two times that you there, there were two times you could have made uh, an American remake or whatever of a Better Tomorrow: the '90s and the early 2000s. Yeah, your window is gone at this point. That window is super gone. The only way you could do it now is that you need something equivalent to counterfeiting, and that's the problem. Anything that's not like actual paper money is going to feel like oh. Bitcoin. Oh, I don't fucking know. Oh, Bitcoin. Look, 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 it's like it's a better tomorrow, but it's Bitcoin and it's future. Yeah, that's no, no, no. how. It's gonna, no, no. Here's the that's best exactly part. No, you know, you know how you, you know how you're gonna do it. You know how you're gonna do it. They're gonna hide Bitcoin and Coke. Don't ask how this is gonna work. No, I no, know no, Bitcoin no. is digital, but somehow Coke is somehow is, it's associated with Bitcoin. <laughs> Just like, how, just like how everybody goes out and buys goddamn GPUs to mine Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's same be, shit. No, no, Eric, hold on. Forget this is a Hollywood movie. There's going to be some technology that does not exist. Even niggas on the black market, like, I wish. <laughs> oh, like that, oh, like that, oh, like that, oh, like that bullshit, oh, like that bullshit, and fucking uh, the, the 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 remake of Red Dawn, where somehow China had technology to shut down half the fucking U.S. I was like, that's bullshit. Nah, even I'm if talking, China had the money to do it, Chris, I'm talking. I'm in. I bullshit. I'm in. <laughs> like, no. Oh no, that's not how that works. That's what I mean. No, but like, like three keystrokes in their end. <laughs> Because that's because <laughs> alt tab F5. All right, there we go. We're in. No, 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 no. It'd be like, okay, go ahead. Shut up, shut up, shut up. What's his favorite nursery rhyme? That's it. Everybody was that. Spoon. The, like Betty at the last, like Betty at the uh, hey, if I could if I could guess the password from King Converse Godzilla or or ooh, my favorite one. Uh Oh God! What's his name? Hugh Jackman getting a blowjob while trying to hack the uh, the fucking NSA. <laughs> oh, you! I'm trying, I'm trying now. Oh. Also, but also, nobody's gonna look smooth as hell in a duster like Chow Yun Fat. So that's nobody. I mean, nobody. Nobody. Hey, no, no. That's why you didn't see. This. And see, here's the thing. There is the thing about having a remake and then copying the movie. So yeah. you don't copy this movie. Number one, you do not copy this movie. You need to have your own unique style. And what Chow Young Fat did, I just got to be, you got to be real. My wife, who don't like Asian men, said, I'll date him. I would date him. I would there's date a reason, him. There's a reason why like, people... Like, like, let's, let's see where this goes, Ching Chong. Look like Angie, that was racist. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, we talked about this before, but there's a reason why a lot of people felt like Chow Young Fat didn't, didn't get his potential used as much in America. In the movies and stuff, because they did, because for some reason back, because again back then Hollywood didn't see him as a leading man, because you know he's Asian and stuff. Now, oh, he'd be thriving. He could thrive now. I, I thrive. doubt he, it. I, no, I doubt. No, no, I doubt. It. I, I, no, doubt it. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, I feel you on that, Chris. Because this is the same thing that we had talked about on the previous podcast. Every time you bring an Asian actor over to America, no matter who you are, 
you are getting typecast. You are yep. going to get thrown into that fucking bubble of playing either a kung fu master, a cop, a secret agent, or some dumb shit. Well, he was a silent assassin. Or in silent the, assassin. Yeah, he was, he was, a, he was an assassin. He was yeah, he was a he was an assassin in that movie that that, that he was with uh, Mir Mir Serino or whatever and stuff. Which like, that was like that was the closest you were going to get to badass fucking Chow Yun Fat. That was and that's the, what I'm the closest. And that's what I mean. You you're thrown into four. It's always less than five type of characters the roles mm-hmm. that you know the asian actors always get every time they come over here and that's and that's more so for the men women however is a different category it's I, a, and I, it's a I, different category for them and it kind of sucks because with them they get uh mm, they get fetishized yeah, especially do. the young ones the like yes, the younger do. ones that come over here oh they're instantly made into like the sex symbol and that's just not a well yeah hollywood of course because hollywood's on top but that's in every other country that is run by white people if you're an asian woman be prepared to be a prostitute that be will have to be a prostitute be, yeah. be, 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 oh 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 and let's also not forget the if be, be prepared to be like, hugged up by some douchey white boy yeah, not even that <laughs> it's even worse make sure that when we introduce you you have that one streak highlight color hair <laughs> and just be real i don't care how progressive y'all think we got in hollywood roll the dice odd even if you're going to be talking like this or talk a like a decent. It's gotten a little bit better. But you're right. we, still, hey, hey, we, hey, Chris, we got I'm, a long way to go, but we still hey, got a little bit hey, better. Chris, real talk. We got to deal with slavery movies. They got to deal with Miss So Honey. We love you. We whoa, like whoa, whoa, big whoa. American cocker. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We ain't getting much slavery movies nowadays. I would say within oh, the past, yeah, within the, the past three Chris, years or so, I we haven't been getting much. That. Yes, sir. I we got no. Trust that. me, we got a long ways to go, though. I, okay, I, we do. We we got do. A long got a long you know who got it just as bad, but they don't know it yet because they're not all the way white, but they think they're all the way white with it. Armenian people got it just as bad because you're either gypsies or you're in a mob, and one of you got like a glass eye, and y'all like kill babies. <laughs> Like, like it's like now all of a sudden Hollywood realizes, oh man, Crazy Rich Asians did good. I guess we can make we can actually do romantic comedies with Asian people. No shit, you think? No, here's the, pro- no, here's like, the problem. What the fuck? Here's, here's the problem. With <laughs> hey, Chris, here's the problem with Hollywood. Hollywood has that idea because they're still of the mind of, huh? You know, anytime we get a whole bunch of Asian actors together, we can only make this movie called The Joy Luck Club. And then all of a sudden they saw Crazy Rich Asians like. Oh well, maybe maybe we can make I them. Still, they, they, oh oh I my still god! Think agents have a long. Road oh no, they got a long way to go. Trust I me. Think trust, trust I me. think their road's a little bit longer because I actually kind of like. Now it's not my place as a Af- as a black man to really say say what I think about their culture, but when I see their concern of like, yeah, you know, ra- crazy rich Asians make us look worse and make black people and Latino people look lazy by comparison. And it's just fucked up. You know that, right? Here all the rest of the Asians. Shut the fuck up. We're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> take the W. We know hey, we got a long way to go. I get their concern. I mean, I and the funny thing is every concern. Asian person in that movie is like, hey, look, it's great. We got a long way to go. I like the and I like the what age dude. He's always the youngest one. What are you talking about? I've been rich all my life. Shut the fuck up, David. Shut up. Shut, shut up. up. Shut up. I mean, hell, hell. You're we just, here because you look halfway white. Shut. Hell, we're fine. Look, look. Me and me and Charlie, we're we're losing our shit over the fucking uh, new Michael B. Jordan movie where he's it's in the Tom Clancy verse. Because me and him have been talking like, yo, it's been a while since we've seen some black action. God damn it! Yes, yes, more of that. So it's like, yeah, it's it's, you know, I gotta be real. The Asian market has has action cornered for the longest time overseas, big time, and, and they're gonna of, continue to have it cornered. Oh, they are. I mean, seriously, there's there's a reason why our boy, um, uh, Donnie Yen, he he comes back over there like, hey, what y'all need me to do this time? All right, special id. All right, cool. Who who who's like, ass who I got kicked this time? It's like uh, like between <laughs> him and then you got Tony Ja doing shit. And <clears throat> hell, he's not, you got Wu Jing and not until he job. There's like other you got other actors and stuntmen and stunt women coming out of Thailand doing their thing. Hell, Indonesia's been tearing mm-hmm. it up lately. I mean, so, but but this this movie is better tomorrow, though. Like, I think I I remember more so the sequel, <laughs> which spoiler. <laughs> 
apparently apparently mark has a twin brother which i was like which is, that came that came out of nowhere in the sequel but at the same time it's like fuck it fine yeah you fine, let it go whatever you, whatever, you, whatever. You, you let it you let it go you let it go number one number one let's be real chris all right john think, fine he has think, a twin brother no, look check it out i don't think i really don't think that they were expecting to make a sequel because I mean, the first you, movie blew up big. It, it that's was what I'm saying. I mean, despite it blowing up big, the first one, the first one told such a good story that it didn't need a sequel. Well, I mean, you know what's funny too, because we've seen these movies. So the whole crux of it, I don't know if we're gonna go in order, but like the whole crux of it is basically one brother, uh, played by T Long, he works for the Triad and a Ho, and you know, they they basically uh, they run uh, counterfeit American money. So he works for there. His brother, Kit, is an uh, up-and-coming police officer. And, you know, we've seen these in movies before here in America where it's like the brother is a police officer and the other brother's in some legal shit and they butt heads and yada, 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 right? And I think A Better Tomorrow, I don't know if you could say it started that trope, but when I think back to American movies that do that and stuff, I, I just feel A Better Tomorrow does it better across the board yeah to kind of show the nuance of of what it means to be like brothers but you're on different spectrums of the law kind of thing you know so that that's how i took it at least and stuff and because it's like i think what was it was it though we own the night like yeah that was we own the night that's another one that's that's one that was kind of that had that same trope but i just felt like it didn't really hit as hard as a better tomorrow that's just me maybe it's a bias i don't know but it you know that's just me but like the whole structure of it is just funny because kit <laughs> he truly is trying to be the best cop that he could be right and i just it's just kind of funny that his dad <laughs> he gets killed by fucking the robocop by the terminator that rolls <laughs> up to the house <laughs> folks like okay, so the guy rolls up into his, his their dad's place, right? He tells him, "Hey, you know your your son, you know he fucked up on the deal. You need to come with us." And I'm like, "Wow, this guy is pretty reasonable." <laughs> and the dad is like, "No, I'm not coming. What, what the hell I come with you for?" First of all, when you first of all, Chris, <laughs> when you're trying to disarm Chinese Kurtwood Smith. <laughs> Only thing that was missing was bitches leave. That's all that was missing. <laughs> <laughs> bitches leave. Gone. Done. Like no, I, bro. <laughs> yo, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. You got Chinese Clarence coming in. <laughs> Man. Like he came in there and just he rolled in. He rolled in on a mission. My man had on again. Everybody has on a duster. What was it about 1986? Everybody rocking dusters in like. I'm gonna say it once. I'm gonna say it again. Hold on. Everybody, everybody rocking dusters in 90 degree weather. It's, in casual, it's crazy. yo, yo, either in either dusters in suits or in casual wear. My black, my tall black ass can't even. I don't look right in a duster. I look like a fucking a salary man in a duster. I don't like this shit. It's it's you know it's, it's, it's annoying as hell. It really is. Oh, you have two options: either A, look like Slender Man, or B. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. So you have no choice but to wear. Dude, I wore a duster too. You have no choice but to wear polos, yeah. I wore wow. a duster. I wore so you a duster. Wear a because that makes you look like an herb off the brick. I, bro, I, I wore. Yeah, that, I wore, kills, I, 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 that kills the wardrobe. I wore a duster to a funeral. And, you know, in my head, I was like, oh, it's a duster. It looks nice. I'm looking good. I looked at myself in the mirror. I was like, I look like a fucking salary man in D.C. What am I doing with my life? Like that? <laughs> what am I doing? Why I thought, am I doing it? Because in your head, you're thinking, oh, man, I'm going to look badass like Chow Yun Fat. And I'm like, it's not the same. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, man. You got to have the right shoulders and all that to look like Chow Yun Fat. Also be Asian. That that can help, too. That could well, speaking, I mean, of, and speaking of which, uh, like, this is actually another Asian movie I want to bring up. And, the, and it's the only one time we would ever see this actor dressed like this. And I never noticed, you know, and I did not notice it until I watched this movie. Remember when we, when we all saw Contract Killer, a.k.a. Hitman? Yeah. There was a scene when, uh, like, where Jet Li was, like, trying on different clothes. And one of them was a nod to A Better Tomorrow. He was dressed like Chow Young fat He had on a whole ass duster. Yeah. And I looked at him and I said, yo, Jet Li actually looked pretty good with that duster. So I'm, you know what, Chris? I put it this way. A duster is like a fedora. It don't look good on everybody. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, fedora's like, not for me. I tried that one time. I was like, nope. Mm -mm. Chris, you wear a fedora. <laughs> if you wear a fedora, Chris, you look like a nice guy. Don't do that. No, no, no. Hey, look. You look like one of those guys. Tip of the cap, my lady. Like, oh, fuck. No, no. Fuck I put, you. I put that shit on. I was like, if I walk out this house, every chick will be like, ugh, nigga. Like... <laughs> And see, and see, I don't like, I don't like fedoras. Then Eric's like, yeah, I don't like fedoras either. Here's the funny thing: I put on the fedora, nothing. Chris put on the fedora, nothing. Eric's puts on the fedora. This nigga is Frank fucking Sinatra. Look at that nigga. I bet his dick big as <laughs> fuck. Fucking MJ fedoras over here. No I mean, one. I legit, it's I no legit really worn. For no one, man. I was gonna it's say, I've legit worn, <clears throat> I've legit worn fedoras, so. He wore a fedora New Year's Eve, dancing his ass off. He, you ain't lying, D. He was again, like, like that, but here's the thing, Chris. Here's again, again, that's what I said. Flip side of that. Uh, D, you look ugly. Uh, Eris, why the fuck? Uh, get the fuck out now. This tall drink a motherfucking glass here. <laughs> oh my god, nigga. Look at the motherfucker. Look how the fedora fits his head. Then flip side again. You ugly. You ugly. Look at that fat. Mark Henry ass <laughs> nigga, the dress just do it with it. Fedoras are stupid. That's why I don't like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's stupid how they work. <laughs> They're stupid. It's, it's, equivalent, it's equivalent to like the fucking white boy that wears the backwards cap. It's like you look like a fucking tool bag. Stop okay, it. Okay. <laughs> the one thing that pisses me off, nigga. If I don't see a skateboard in either hand, take that shit off. All right. The one thing that pisses me off more than anything, more than anything. Is Kango Soul Patch niggas? It is 2021. How was that still a fashion thing? How? How are there still men walking around Indeed. with the Kango Indeed. all the all baby face soul patch? Indeed, indeed. They drive a nice clean oh. Nissan. Not they drive a nice clean <laughs> Nissan, <laughs> Nissan 240SX. That's all white. Like they had, that shit hasn't even came out the garage since because 1985 and shit. So yeah, you're let me know that they're single men that barely fuck. You, you let me know that. I know that part. But <laughs> but his <laughs> his part though. No, no. no, when you said that, he was gonna say, "D, they look like they have a nice, clean as hell." 1997 Nissan Sentra. I thought you was about to say that. I was. It's to... always a Datsun that's like it's never been out the always fucking garage. No it's Stain like, right here, man. This is a this is an '81 Stingray right type here. Type of car man, you know? that people are in our age bracket. We fucking went to hot import nights driving, but they drive them shit stock and it looks clean as hell. And I was like, man. Man, them type of niggas that tell you a story about a date they had five years ago, and you think that you're. <laughs> I, Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway so, so, this dude, so this dude tells him, hey, your son, who, by the way, the funny thing is, Ho knew when he took his boy to that meet, oh, this is a trap. Can't, I, don't, I don't know if it is a trap, but it just feels like it's a trap. Yeah, it's something right here, man. It ain't something right here. I don't know, man. But the, could be yo, because... Yo. Could be because all of a sudden my dad telling me to get out the game. Could have been a nightmare <laughs> I had. You know, it could, it could be a couple of things. I just I just like how he literally dived behind the fucking chair when the gunshots went off during that deal. I was like, yo. I knew, I knew it was on. I knew it was on before the even cops got there because the way he was all, ha, 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 ha. yeah, come on in. Come on in. Let me show you. He was all doing that shit. I was like, oh, boy. This dude's a little too uh, happy Shot to do this deal. <laughs> so, because after that deal, Ho and his boy, they end up running out into the fields and stuff, and the police are... They really got a hard on for criminals and stuff because they got the dogs, the police choppers, and everything but, looking for their you ass. Know, I think when you're when you're doing uh, counterfeiting and you're in Taiwan, and at the time that's when it was owned by yeah, that was under Chinese, still mm -hmm. under Chinese rule. But doing counterfeit bills in Taiwan at that time, hell yeah, yeah, I think yeah, of course uh, counterfeiting is always serious, but yeah, they, they, China they, don't play that shit. <laughs> Hey, look, man. Did you love? Did you love how at the beginning though, when they had to counterfeit U.S. bills and they meet those Americans in the building? And no. again, you forget that child, young, fat, and them. He knows how to speak English, obviously. I but I got. I still. I, I heard that like that's a dub, but that's a dub. That's not child, young, fat. I heard child, young. I think. Fat I think he. English. I think at that that's point, he, I like to think that at that point he was probably decent at English, but there was like we got to dub that over because no, 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 no. Get the American to dub that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but, the person that's actually in English to do that, okay? Because both, because both the guy T Lung, who by the way he actually was, um, he was in Drunken Master Two playing uh, Jackie Chan's dad and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, cause it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I've seen that hairline anywhere. Cause this hairline is like back. So, so it's not even, yeah, he was, no, another person that was in this movie and I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure y'all even have talked about, um, Ho's brother. Have you talked about Ho's brother? Already? No, we didn't. We just mentioned yeah, him, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, Kit. Yeah. yeah. Kit, Kit. You see when Kit goes to, um, his, um, girlfriend's, um, um, violin recital, the person, the, the producer, that is sitting right beside him when she messes up and look at him like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, she's not getting that damn job. That person is a very famous person. That is director Sue Hawk. Really? Yes. That is Sue Hawk. Three like in three and four years later, if I'm mistaken, he would direct a Better Tomorrow three. Nice. And yeah, so it's kind of funny. Like oh, so Sue Hawk and jo and John Woo were boy are boys. You know what I mean? So, well, I mean, John Woo popped up in this film in like a ranch, just like, like you know, because that's what John Woo does. Right. He just he just pops up in the movie, he just you like, know, hey, I'm a cameo. Hey, yo, be on this yeah, man, we're gonna do this shit. No, it's like, <laughs> like hard boiled. He played the, and he played the uh, his uh, um, old boy's uh, best friend in the bar after he does his little cello routine and stuff. And he's mm -hmm. oh, he's the bartender. That's what he was. He was the bartender. I was like, so John, you just put yourself in the movie, huh? All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's your movie, dude. Fine. Hey, man, it's your movie, man. <laughs> Fuck, man. Look, Tyler Perry can be in his movies and speak. I can be in mine. Shit. Yeah. Hey, the day John Woo puts himself in the movie, he's doing action scenes. That's when you know he's made it. Just, just straight up. That'd be fun. That's hilarious, man. I think John Woo thought he made it when he did on um, Charlie's Angels, and then realized, oh, oh, this is not going to be a good movie. <laughs> did he do Charlie? Did, did, hold up. Did he do Charlie's Angels? Uh, Charlie's Angels too, if I'm mistaken. If he wasn't director, he was like associate producer or some shit like that because he did that and he did um Mission Impossible 2, it was right, it wasn't three, it was two, no, two. That he did. two. Okay, so yeah. he's not actually he okay, he never got a, a actual recognition for Charlie's Angels. That's the problem. It's kind of one of those like I was there, but not really kind of thing. I guarantee you, it was more like, Yeah, don't put my name on that shit. Probably, I you know, Mission Impossible, yes, put me on two. Oh man, come on, man. The, the motorcycle scene. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, that was all that was all John Woo. No, no. <laughs> the, the doves after fucking Ethan shot the fucking explosives to blow the door. And I was like, where the I fuck did the doves come this, from? To this day, I don't get doves. Why is it gotta be pow? Ooh, I never understand. It's, it's, the, it's the angelic aspect of it. I mean, you saw you saw Tom Cruise when the door opened. He walked past, and you saw the doves flying. He had the angelic, you know, aura around him and stuff. Hey, Chris, he's a Scientologist. <laughs> well, he wasn't Scientology at that point. Yes, he was. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, Tom, wow. Tom, Tom, Tom is a is is is. I I'm not saying he was on Ground Zero for that shit, but he was one of the first ones. Like, yeah, this is shit. It was like him and Nancy Cartwright were the, were the main ones. Nah, but so so Bart Simpson and Tom Cruise <laughs> were telling everybody, man, Scientology, man. All you gotta do is give up half your foot paycheck, <laughs> have sex with your wife only in one position, and, and missionary, not the good missionary. <laughs> so ho so ho and so ho and shing after the whole deal going by and the police are looking after the Taiwanese police are looking for him and stuff. Mm -hmm. Ho decides to sacrifice himself and tell Singh, hey, get your ass back to fucking Hong Kong and Sing just make sure. Like, I don't want to leave you. I want to leave you. Do it. And he does the whole thing. I'm going to shoot in the air to get their attention. Now go. You know, and Singh goes back to Hong Kong and stuff. And, you know, Mark is kind of sitting back in Hong Kong waiting for both of them to come back and stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, Ho ends up. Because Ho did like, what, three, four years in jail? Um. God, well, five, was it five? He did, he did five years in jail, something like that. Yeah, hold it five years in jail. He did his thing, but I like how they did it. And you just see uh when uh Mark saw he does huh drops it and he drops everything like all right, time to kill some people. Yeah, so <laughs> and, and and I think it's the best scene ever because so at this point, Mark, when he finds out that you know what happened with the deal and stuff, he decides, all right, I'm gonna go after the after the Taiwanese dudes that, that sat there and shot him up. And it's a great He's scene. Having fun. They're having oh my fun. God. And, 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 and it's a great scene. And, and, and the scene is set up so great because Mark is kind of like fake drinking, drunk and stuff with this chick next to him on the side and stuff. And, you know, he's putting guns inside the potted plants. 
mm-hmm. and, you know, and stuff. And you're like, oh boy, Mark about to fuck some people up and stuff. So and again, I had my son watching it with me. He said, please better do some John Wick shit. No, John Wick did shit he did. Watch, son, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so Mark, Mark rolls up in there, and I like how the dudes immediately see him and was like, oh. Fuck. I think anytime you have a, I, I think anytime there's a party after y'all, I think after you kill somebody yeah. and you're having a celebration and a door is and a door opens up slowly, yeah, action's about to happen because he asked the cop somebody ready to shoot you. The fact that they looked at him was like, ah, oh, shit, because they, it's like they knew that was Mark, like, ah. Oh. Fuck. I like how I one boy, the first thing he got popped was reaching. I loved it because he looked like he was like, oh shit, pop. <laughs> now, if you know any of John Woo's movies, barely any reloading. Mark popped barely. off like 25 shots in his pistol. I'm like, I, I know there's shit. not a lot of bullets in these guns, but all right, I'll let it roll. I'll let it hey, rock. Chris, how is it possible every time they reloaded in this movie? It's it's fucking insulting, isn't it? Because they'll sit and shoot off 58 damn bullets all of a sudden. Click, click. I'm like, you didn't even reload. You just looked at see, your see, see, Mark was smart. Mark didn't reload. Mark was like, that's why I got guns in the pile of plants. I ain't fucking reloading. Fuck this shit. I think, you know, I truly think what they were going on was uh, lethal enforcer rules. Then you like, you shoot, shoot, point down, shoot, and <laughs> you reload it. I really yo feel like Mark that's what... lit them motherfuckers up, and the motherfuckers did not have no aim whatsoever because Mark was like, bop, 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 and bop, the only bop, bop. reason why Mark got hit was because that one dude, the one Batman, he slipping. hit dragged his ass out the room. And Mark was like, "Oh, word, last gun." Ba 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 ba. I'm like, well, so Mark does what typically happens in these films, where after he gets shot, he goes into kind of a despair thing. We find mm-hmm. out that Shane pretty much took over the company that was mm-hmm. making the counterfeit bills and stuff. Really, what happened was it was a half a half. It was half a half. It was really half going into hiding because yeah, the cops are probably going to look for you too. Mm-hmm. And number two, what good are you? You have no money, no connection right now, no none of that. And it's just kind of amazing how he, how Mark just went to being homeless pretty much. Well, he's just, he just, just drive, he's just drive, he's a chauffeur basically, but he's well, kind yeah, of Yeah, he's a chauffeur. Yeah, he's, God, he's working he's, poor at this point. <laughs> yeah, he's working poor. The mother is like it's like a nigga that you know for a fact. <laughs> and yeah, I know, the economy, shut the fuck up. But dig it <laughs> out your get it out your brain on this one. Imagine your best friend works at Wawa and imagine 3 days later He's working at three days later. He's working as a janitor for this one, not even a good janitor, just like you are picking up horse shit. It's like, you're no, that type you, of janitor. It's like, you the ma- nah, <laughs> nah, man, it's that type of world, bro. Hey, were you the manager of a Wawa? It was pretty thriving. What happened, oh, man? Oh, man, it was, it was all right. The Wawa, no, nah, man, some shit went down. <laughs> Yo, but that was the thing. Like, it felt like. When Mark got shot in his leg, it's like a lion that lost his like bite because he yeah, got I, shot in the leg, yeah. and it's like that badass swag that he had at the beginning of the movie. Oh no, all that, all that, that shit swag was gone. out of his fucking ankle when he got shot. Like the only swag oh. he had was like because even when he's wearing a duster with the casual wear and stuff, it's like he looked like a guy like when he when Ho because Ho at this point he's trying to get out the game, he's trying to make amends with his brother because his brother during mm-hmm. the montage of him being in prison. His brother is re- rising up in ranks at, at the police academy and stuff, and he's a cop. So his brother already hates him pretty much because one, your dad got killed because of you. Now, did y'all talk about how that how his dad got killed? We were about to, and then we yeah, we were about to. It. Oh, all right, hey, he's just back. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. But even with um, before we go into that, I will say this one more thing, and I could be looking at it a little bit too deep. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking with Asian culture, seeing how he's lame, pretty much he's he's skipping on one leg. And how he's not washing himself. <laughs> Once your images go, I got this thing of the Chinese being really you, you. You're just good enough to drive cars. You have a broken boot. Like, like. But then again, that's how white Americans think how China works. So you know. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, but you yeah. saw. No, no but you, but you saw how it was when the new bosses pretty much took over. I AKA, mean, like, like AKA, hey, the guy who actually sold you out and screwed you over was a dude that you told. Run, do sing imagine without missing will. a beat. <laughs> imagine if you will. Imagine if you will. Somebody, a couple of uh, uh, one or two people, I'm not going to name their names, but they had something to do with fan con. Imagine if you will. 
imagine if you will. They look at us. They like they look at us, and we're like, like, and and, and I'm not saying we're that high. No, we're not. We just, no, we just no, we're no, friends. No, with no, this no, no. We're just friends <laughs> with this nigga. But that being said, imagine they woke up and saw us on stage with Hilton. Yeah, man. Thanks to three black geeks. But Blur kind of got off to a great start. Yada yada yada. They're sitting in the audience like, "Fuck you." <laughs> That's what happened. Because Mark, Mark at this point, Mark, they just shot me in the leg, bro. Come on. <laughs> Which, by the way, that I ain't even do this shit. Now like, I'm bringing it back to the fan content. I ain't even do nothing. <laughs> Which, by the way, even though Mark got shot in the leg, yo. That restaurant shootout, holy shit! Yeah. I'll be honest you with you. Can you call that a shootout when it's one person murking everybody though? It, it is. is. It you know why it was a shootout? Because when like one dude got shot, he shot five times in the air, making him look <laughs> like a the poor janitor upstairs mopping the floor, gets shot in the leg. No, 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 wait, Chris, Chris, it was poor. No, wait, Chris, sorry, it was it was poor janitor working on his on his day off, get shot. No, in the no. Leg. You know what I feel bad for? I feel bad for the party down the hallway, and that one person got killed in there. I feel bad for that party. Oh, the straight yeah. bullet. Yeah, a straight. Yeah, got one the, straight bullet killed somebody. I'm not saying all. Oh, oh, like, got the got the, got the, one person died. Got the got the G baby from Harbaugh routine. Like, all right, guys, everybody, all right. <laughs> everybody, all right. Hey, like, everybody all right. cool. Everybody cool. Hey, Steve, <laughs> you all right? Hey, Steve, you all right? And Steve is just sitting right, there. <laughs> he got bullet hole in his heart, and he's just bleeding ble- ble- out like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Eris, Eris, our favorite lot in the world. Come on, you're not gonna die. Say the fucking Say words. Say the fucking words. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, love hardball. People are not bullshit. That is a that that scene is that scene sucks so much, man. It really does, man. It's like it's a hard watch. Yo, because it's his brother. He's like, all right, man. You all right? Did I was like, no, no. <laughs> you just, oh man. But that's what at least at least it ain't <laughs> at least it ain't on a car. <laughs> At least in an autocon. Dude, why do you want to call me that? <coughs> I'm dead. <laughs> why y'all make me laugh so much today? Dude, that man could catch a break, man. It's like your sister get fucking stabbed by fucking um, damn not not vampire and um, shit and I stuff. Like how, I like how I like how the woman that broke you off a piece of that play who could have easily cured herself of cancer said, nah, I'm out this bitch. I'm out. <laughs> Nano machine, son. I don't care. I don't care what you say. Dude, she was done. No. If the nano machines kept her alive. The nano machine was keeping her alive. Yo, Naomi said, yo, yo, real, yo, real talk. Naomi skipped over chemotherapy. It's like, yo, I ain't trying to lose my hair. Fuck this nano machines. Bam, let's go. And here's the thing to get me. It's like, so is the nano machines not working? No, they suppress it. So why are you not taking it no more? Nah, because she felt bad for the deaths. She 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 susaned herself and was like, uh, I feel uh, bad for these deaths. I got to kill herself. myself. She didn't sue herself. Or did she fuck down? Yeah, that was mid. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna tell him it's mid because he thought his stroke game was good. How you are so sweet. How knows this? Uh, but what? <laughs> like, why do I feel like however coming? Dude, it was like that shit from The Simpsons with Ned Flanders. It's just that. like on the anime I watched. Uh, it's like, like you know, Otacon thought he was like Ned Flanders when he banged out that fucking uh, Holly, that Hollywood chick and stuff. And Ned Flanders got like an eight pack and they're sitting in the fucking. <laughs> That's what Otacon thought he was. I was like, nah. Was nah, it that, dope, was that time where, where, where Ned said, "Well, I have a stack of stack of Bob verses saying that we shouldn't have sex, and I have another stack of verses actually contradicting dictering that saying that we should have sex." God, what do I do? And all of a sudden, the wind blew. He was like, oh, I take that as a sign. I was like, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I love Ned Flanders in this show, man. He was like, yo, Ned Flanders is the good Christian guy that works out, got an eight pack, and just everything. Just I great. Bullshit. I call bullshit on his eight pack. I really do. Come on, man. When he sh- yo, yo, when I he showed show Homer his ass, like, hey, these ass. <laughs> I am mad to this day that there is a legit statue and figure out of that it. shit. Yeah, and I want it. It feels it's like stu- I want it. It's, 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 it's called, it's, called it be at all. it's actually called the stupid sexy Ned Flanders figure. It is. Stupid sexy Ned Flanders. 
<laughs> no, but yo, but seriously though, like I said, Mark just looked like a lost lion that lost his edge. Because when Ho is talking to Shane to try to get back into the gang, and Ho was just because Ho the whole time he's literally just like, I want to go in, but I don't want to go in and stuff. So when he comes oh, out man, that meeting the first time, things past me. Plus the nigga I work for at the at the cab station, he like. Nah, don't ruin your life. So, you know, I got somebody positive in my life again. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, oh, and also Shane tried to talk cash shit and the whole had to pull him off to the side. Like, look, nigga, you're not going <laughs> to bring up. Bro, you know, when he pulled him, no, did you, did, you love the, did you like the fact that he pulled him into the conference room? Like, yeah, he pulled hey, look, him into the conference room. <laughs> hey, look, let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> what you're not and about I, to do. <laughs> and I always love, and it's one thing I like about some movies where they use the sound effects, where it's obviously a Foley guy like, Hitting the ground to make sound effects. Yeah. I love their sound effects when somebody's walking. So all you heard was like footsteps, like plop, 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 plop. What the fuck you doing, man? <laughs> My man's like, you know, three years yeah, I could have, like, in th- like, you know, in three years that I spent in prison, I could have snitched your ass out and but I didn't. didn't. I yeah. thought that meant something. <laughs> Apparently, it don't. And, and look, I mean, you really think it's used to be my dog. You was in my right titty. <laughs> Green ride, die. Don't you would die for me. Find out, find out, you a bitch. You won't even. Die. I mean, first of all, he first of all he let him go. Talking about, I don't want to implicate nobody else. Cool. What you could have did was you could have took care of him. You could have took care of his crew. Could have did something. Because that's the thing. That's that's that's, that's whole thing. Whole 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 thing is basically take care of your family. That's his mantra. Take care of the family, and it's just everything went to shit. Which is why every shit. It, that's I tell you why. I tell you why. Because me and er, me and Chris had to do this to Eris. Eris, that's the new guy. If he's a new guy, you know what I did, nigga. Back in the day, you say, "Yo, Eris, chill, man." Chill, bring it over here. See, you shouting at that nigga, he gonna turn on all three of us. <laughs> Yo, but did you like how we're holding up to me? That's where it started. When March he started busting his balls at that point, he was like, oh, I don't like y'all niggas like that. So I'm it's it's me time. <laughs> I mean, first of all, first of all, uh, I'm sorry, Chris. The level of disrespect when when uh, when, when Sing shows up, right? Oh, you saw God. this nigga pull out the money and toss that shit on the ground for like after he washed his windows. Like, Woo! I was like the Disrespect. No, oh, when Ho came out that conference room, right? Mark was thinking, okay, maybe we're back in. And Ho was like, nah, we're not in, dog. Fuck this. <laughs> it was just a look of defeat on fucking Mark's face, like, oh man. I, oh. Mark, well, this, like, it, it, look, Mark said, no, this with a cigarette. They're like, I remember the day we used to, we used to be on all these Linux computers, fucking up currency and shit. Not anymore. It's like, I can't years. get rain. They just give me water. Yes, just water. Just water. Oh, oh just did you, water, did, water. did you also <laughs> love afterwards when they meet back up at the club the second time? Mark is being a sarcastic asshole to sing when he put his leg up on it, like, yeah, toast, and just pours a drink on his leg, on his bum leg and shit. Oh, I, I was like, whoa. Same <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing. I mean, see, here's a toast. I was like, damn, son. Ain't so no, care of me, a, I could have been good. You know, and that's what I'm saying, because the flip side is like, you know, this, you know what I'm saying? Let's just think about it. This is funny, right? I'm here, you here, Ho here, and you know what's funny? When he was in jail, and when I was like, you know, getting gang green over here, the <laughs> fuck was you at? <laughs> mm. time, you know, just just mm. Hold you know, on, hey, Ho, did you let that nigga go? You, you saved him, did you? Wow. And what did he give you in jail? Ooh, uh-uh, nothing, nothing but air and no attention. I thought so. I Earth thought and like water. That. So that being said, toast to you. This Jack Daniels is going on his leg, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me tell you something. He let you go. You rise up. You take care. I see you taking care of all your crew. I mean, yo, what about man. me? Like, hold on, but what about me and Hope? We ain't eating over here. What what whatever happened to everybody eats? I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. <laughs> Just imagine this look. Imagine seeing try to talk and all of a sudden you see he can't hear his kid here come camp. Who's maybe may get the food? Who's this pig leg motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was waiting. Hey, look, I was waiting for Sing's mark equivalent to come up there and try to flex, but he didn't have a mark equivalent. Yeah, he didn't have a mark equivalent. You thought he would. You really thought he see that's what he fucked up. He ain't had a ride to die beside him. No, he didn't. He, he just had a bunch up. of new. He just had a bunch of new people that just looked at fucking Mark and Ho like, "Who the fuck are these two guys?" 
A bunch of niggas from Shanghai. Only one he know. The rest of them niggas he barely like like that. <laughs> hey, hey, D. Hey, D. He had a whole bunch of guys who didn't know about Mark and everybody back home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hold on, Harris. Hold on, Harris. Just the one random white guy that speaks very good Cantonese. That's the reason why they keep around. Now, hey, man, we try to get in the club. Hey, yo, David, go get me. And between all this, right, Ho and Kid, they're going back and forth because, you know, Kid's like, I'm a cop now. You're a criminal. Fuck off. And I'm like, God damn. Like, all Dude, right, man. Like, like, look, man, the whole thing came down to you cannot get a promotion because your brother is a criminal. Oh, the police are fucking assholes in this movie, too. It's like, <laughs> that's your best cop. He's doing all the blag work. What is he's giving you the big cases? No, nope. you're not going to promote him? <laughs> nope. The reason why is but for one good reason. All police forces around the world usually go, Ugh, you know somebody in that organization? Get the fuck out of here. Now, here's the fun part. The agency that takes care of all the espionage and all the rest of that shit. Come here real quick. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Your brother too? Wow. Okay, cool, cool. cool That's exactly cool, what happened cool. to Departed as we were talking hey, about nigga, pre-show. CIA. <laughs> look, this, look, look, the CIA and FBI are famous for who your cousin again? Oh, come yeah, on. yeah, come here real quick. Let's talk, man. Yeah, yeah. How much you want? You heard me, nigga. How much you want? <laughs> That's exactly what they got Leo's character in the party. It was like, oh, you're part of that Boston gang? Hey, hey come over here. I know they kicked you out the academy. Come on, come over That's here. Come, exactly on, come over here. Story, yeah. <laughs> we love and, you. <laughs> like, when we went to all the Mafia month, when I read all like some of the stuff that went on, you know, went behind the scenes with Donnie Brasco, even, yeah. even on Goodfellas. You saw a little stuff like that. It was the FBI saying, nigga, we know you got a family. We know you got this. We know you got that. You trying to get out? Yeah. <laughs> you trying to get out? What you trying to do? I mean, but you trying to do? I mean, but all we crazy. need to know is where, all we need to know is one thing. Where does he wash his clothes at? Lucky coin. Thank you. Thank you. you I mean, check, and, and it sucks too because he's frustrated because oh, he's just like, because he's trying to do, he's trying to investigate and stuff. And at one point, he finds out the boat where they're doing the, where they're doing their deals at and stuff, and he gets capped Bro. by <laughs> Sting's gang member because Sting was telling him, "Hey, your brother's been sniffing around. You might want to talk to him and get him the fuck away from this shit, or else yo, I'll let, kill him." Yo, Chris, let me tell you, like, Chris, let me tell you, like, Chris, hey, Chris, let me tell you, Chris, hey, Chris, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. First of all, when your brother, yes, he's on the other side of that coin, but mm-hmm. when your brother is giving you the heads up to say, "Hey," Sing knows that you're following him. I wouldn't try to jump at the first thing that this motherfucker does because he could be setting you up for a trap. Matter of fact, I know he's setting you up for a trap. <laughs> yep. And what do you do? You follow this nigga, run out to a freaking boat yard. Got shot in his your, arm. And, and matter of fact, that was his ride or die. The dude mm. that shot him, that was Sing's ride or die. He had the silent ride or die. I mean, look. They sat. I sat there and saw that shit. I was like, and he had going to surgery, and I was like, man. He goes into surgery. Girlfriend comes in, trying to convince him to, you know, like, can you please, like, like talk to him? Like, look, I have tried. My brother wants nothing to do with me. What do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, uh, man, and the fact that like, dude, when she, he, dude, the fact that she hit him, she hit him with the uh, with the freaking Dominic Toretto. Like you don't give up on family. Family. Well, <laughs> let, well, we also have to talk about the setup for that because I like how number one, you know, Kit is such a great cop that he's ignoring his girlfriend a little bit Man. to where she comes in there. Number one, it's your girl's <laughs> birthday. Put the fucking paper down and, and go give her a kiss or something. God damn it, dude! Come on. Like she she bring out the birthday cake and look. I thought it was very sweet of her how she was like, oh, he ain't paying attention. Shut the light off. I was like, that's what shit girlfriends <laughs> do. Girlfriends Brush. will do some dumb shit like that. Is like, she went straight to the circuit breaker and shut all the power off. What does he do? Grab a little desk lamp, put it next to the freaking typewriter and kept it moving. Like, Sir, did you not get the hint? Just go over there and wish her a happy goddamn birthday. Eat the cake and then she'll let you go back to your work. Just do that. That's all she wanted. That's all she wants. He couldn't even he couldn't even do that. What like but what did she do? She runs over to him and like, you really gonna sit here and act like you don't recognize that it's my birthday. Like, no, no, you eat this goddamn cake, smile. But what does he do? He actually he was like, You forgot my birthday. Like, you've been so obsessed with trying to be a cop and yada yada, you forgot my birthday. 
And he pulls out the freaking box. Happy birthday. Now I got work to do. <laughs> dude, dude. Oh see, 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 he fuck, see, kid fucked up. That only works if you if you fuck her and then say, "Hey, I'm gonna get back to work." At that point, it's like, all right, she's fine, she's satisfied for now. But you just gave her a box of a present and think that's enough. I'm like, that's not enough if you're gonna do all that, man. Sorry, that that just doesn't work. When she says, "Look, we're gonna do it, like we're gonna do everything that I want for my birthday." You are not allowed to get angry on my birthday. Okay. Here's me. No, no, here's me. All right. Stop everybody. Get your stopwatches. <laughs> like, how long does it take for this moment? And that get nigga's pissed? dude, dude. Fucking ho shows up. Knock on the door. He's like, Oh, I get it. Hose at the door. She's like, All right, don't be mad. I like when you start. Here's the thing. History dictates. When you tell somebody, don't be mad, mm-hmm. you already know the person's gonna get mad. They're gonna get mad. As soon as Kit saw his brother, he and me was like. All of a sudden, this cake doesn't taste so good. I'm done. <laughs> Just walks off. Dude, the fact that she offered Ho a piece of cake. I mean, <laughs> and, you know, and he told him, and then he sits there and has the audacity to tell her, don't give him the cake. And I was like, but dude, it's not your birthday, so you don't really it's have like, you know, the right you to know tell damn, her. Oh. Dude, you know damn well he was going to scream that shit. Like, don't give him the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, God. The, I mean, and again, I get it because your dad got killed. And you blame indirectly. Her. Indirectly, I I totally understand. Like, I, we're ducking and dodging this shit. Number one, how the hell this this dude, the Terminator assassin, just rolls in there and goes from calm and collected to, you know what, old man? Since you want to get on my back and want to punch shit out of me, you gotta die. Yeah, just straight up. I mean, look, he told him, "Come along with me quietly. There won't be any issues." You decide to punch me in the back of the head, we got issues now. This dude got stabbed in the back. He got beat up every which way and still kept going. And like Kit, clearly this guy is smaller than this guy because his punch <laughs> clearly the different shit. weight class. This clearly kid, the different weight class, bro. <laughs> Kit's punches wasn't doing shit to this dude. He punched this dude like five times in the face. This dude was eating punches. Like, what's that? Like what? <laughs> What's this? What am I getting attacked by? My nigga was eating them, eating Kit's punches like it was just Cheerios. Like, oh, uh, what are you doing, guy? Like, come on. I know it's like, dead, a, but like, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Is there a fly in here or something? Like, what is this? They keep saying that Kit's a badass officer. I don't believe any of it. He looks like he can't hurt nobody to me. He tries his best. He's, he's like, no, he's the Rudy of he's the Rudy of this movie. He's the Rudy of this movie. You know that scene where Rudy was trying to go against a defensive tackle and got popped and shit. That's the guy. That's that's him in this scene. Well, we already talked about how Rudy went. Hey, I really want to play for this team. No credits. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Apparently, the coach of the Notre Dame team was like, "This kid got guts." Let him on the team. I'm like, this kid would get killed on any fucking college team. What are we doing here? And guess what? That'll be on your hands, sir. Your hands. <laughs> it's just so funny, man. I was watching American Dad, and that nigga ran on the football field. He's like, holy crap, you guys are huge. <laughs> like, I tell that to everybody. I'm used to it. But I tell that to all people. Have you ever been beside somebody that played in the NBA before? Have you ever been beside an athlete, not a nigga in high school, an athlete? I'll just say this. Yo, why are you the fuck? Why does your muscle deposition look like a gazelle? What the the hell? Here's the crazy part, right? I have stood next to Juan Dixon. I'm slightly taller than Juan Dixon. Look at that humble brag. Look at that humble brag. That humble (laughs) brag. But at the same time, but at the same time, I've passed by a LeBron James when he played in Washington, right? When he when Cleveland was playing in Washington, LeBron about six five, slightly taller than me. That nigga is a fucking monster. He's six eight actually. He is six eight, almost three hundred pounds. This nigga's a monster. It's a freaking night shit. I stood I next. Hold on, I this is how tall. further. I think, I think no, 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 further. no. This is even better stuff. CJ, uh, twenty sixteen Comic Con. Chris is taller than Seamus. No, 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 sir. Correction. Me and Seamus are the same height. Seamus is just built like a fucking brick house. Brick house. Yes. All right. Better, better example. We go better example. Awesome. Said, me and- no, but, but I'm sorry, dude. I've said it before and I'll say it again, CJ. You too tall, and I don't like that. It's some part. Now we over the uh, awesome con. Awesome con. Me and Chris take a picture with New Day. We love that picture. Me and Chris love that picture. Love it. 
How am I the same height as Big E? Are you fucking kidding me? No, no, no. All of us, we all took a picture because I, I was standing next to Austin. And he and me and Austin. No, 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 no. That's awesome, Con. You were still in Japan. No, but we saw him. No, sorry. I saw Austin. But you, no, 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 but yeah, he yeah, yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about Austin. I'm looking at Austin. I'm like, X, you're the same height as Eris. And you got boots on. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Kofi's about a smidgen bit taller than me. And I'm like, I'm five nine and a half. Yo, Kofi. Vince is lying about all three. <laughs> Kofi, Kofi five eleven on a good day. But that being said, yeah, Kofi's like five eleven. Because nigga, you saw we're almost like the same height. All three so, of us. So I'm looking at that. I'm looking at Chris Towers, all three of them, which is funny. But this uh, <laughs> is like it's like Biggie, B, Kofi, Chris, <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> so so it's kind of funny. I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> The only people I've ever seen that were their height and they were their height were basketball players, man. Yeah. And when because I, I used to always get closer to seats. Actually, you know what? Eris, you would know this. Gilbert Arenas is about the most normal height, normal build you will get out of a basketball player. You know yeah. how big he was, you know. That's as about as normal as you get. Everybody else is like towers. <laughs> I will say this though. Um that that assassin was on some Duke Togo levels of huge. I, I'm mad that number one, he was too big to do the job, but he's the <laughs> perfect person to do the job. Hey, he snuck in that house like a fucking ninja, quietly as shit. Didn't even boom, just boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> do do. Now, granted, maybe it's because old girl had the fucking uh, them bomb ass Sony headphones on while she was listening to her cassette tape. That's but bullshit, you know, man, the second she heard like a clink, she should have heard that. Them earphones don't cover up nothing. <laughs> this is true. This is the only way those sure. earphones make you really block out sound is when you're into the music. That's the only way it starts. But like this dude got stabbed in the back, took a fucking glass over the head. I was like, this dude is just eating everything. I'm like, what in the world? I just like how my girl, my, my girl, got the drop on this dude twice, and he just straight up. <laughs> oh my! Old God. girl had got her ass kicked through this whole. Movie, dude, he backhanded the, the shit movie. out of her. Backhanded. I like how she got him. Thought she was gonna do that. He just pushes her to the side. Doesn't even try to do. No, that. and then just the fact that when when the dad dies, his last words is "Forgive your brother." Forgive your brother. Because up to that point, that though, that means he had something to do with this. And it was weird too because Kit, up to that point, it's like he knew his brother was in some shit, but like they still had that budding brother relationship it was like i don't like what you're doing but fine whatever you're gonna do what you want to do and stuff and the thing of it is ho actually supported kit becoming a cop he didn't even begrudge him and stuff you know because most movies would be like oh you're gonna be a cop Ugh, get out of my face it's like no no he's like hey be a cop dude do what you want you know and dad and dad the dad was clearly proud of both of them yeah and the dad clearly was proud of both of them in in Uh in a way and stuff it was like yeah i know my son is in some illegal shit whatever fine Mm-hmm. You know, it's counterfeit money. So whatever. Boy, I'm gonna give this nigga a PlayStation for Christmas. You ain't gonna stop. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? But it's just when he said when his last words is forgive your brother and stuff. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, now it's time for me to have an unhealthy vendetta against my own brother for the next 15 years. What is the remainder of this movie? But it boils down. So, so at this point when he finally sees his brother on his girlfriend's birthday and stuff, and, you know, he's they, they kind of go back and forth. They finally have the argument and stuff where it's like, no, I still love you. I know you blame me for dad's death, but I'm going to go down to that dock and I'm going to break up that fucking, the, the whole, you know, deal that's going down. If you want to come down there and, you know, be part of the investigation, you're more than welcome to do it. I know the cops ain't going to like you for it, but you, you come down if you want to. It's up to you. Not like how they told his ass. No. But I, no. 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 No, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, got me. Okay, kid. You're all not. Right. You're not. You're not, you're not going to take part of this investigation at all. Period. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. All right. Now you're going to file, the... pa- file those papers and shut the fuck up. Thank you. Basically, I mean, which that was the frustration with him anyway. But so at this point, Ho and uh, Mark decide they're going to break up the whole deal that's going down and stuff. So. They basically hold up Singh with the gun. Singh has his brother. They do the exchange and stuff. 
Mark, before they even do the exchange, is looking at the briefcase and it has the money in it. And Mark was like, okay, it's a lot of money here. I guess we can finally disappear with this money. I like how he opened that thing up because he didn't trust that motherfucker. Well, the dude said it was like, what if that's a bomb in the briefcase? And I was like, yeah, of course it's going to be a bomb. You're not smart enough to put a bomb in the briefcase. <laughs> What you gonna do? <laughs> but I know I did appreciate, like you said, the tenseness of it because he's opening up the briefcase and it was like click, and he has his eyes closed and he's like opening it slowly, and it's like, oh, it's money. It's regular ass money. Whew. You know, so they do the exchange and stuff, and that's when Ho just told Mark, hey, dude, just take the money and get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> and he get and he gets on the boat and he's and driving Mark off. Doing the whole thing, like, come on, man, it's you and me. This is this is what we did, man. Like, no, I gotta finish this. Come on, <laughs> CMP, <laughs> CMP. We all we got. We live together. We ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life. <laughs> Which, to be fair, there is a melodrama in the fact that when he's driving off, they're playing the music and stuff, and Mark is kind of doing the man and, cry. And it's kind of funny because they all do a movie, and I think that's why the chi- the the. the of course, Chinese just loved this movie and just gave Chow Young Fat so much praise because he was. I don't know if he was overacting or over, I don't know because he was over emoting the entire movie. He has an intense and, look. It was just, yeah. and I think that's what really got it. But people just and they they flocked to that because he killed it so much. But even though I see he's driving, like we'll cry. The whole time, turn this joke around. He turned it around. I'm like, oh, and what you get is quite possibly one of the most ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous shoot up shootouts I have ever seen. I have never life. seen. I've never seen a six shooter hold so many bullets without reload. I not even the six shoot. I'm mad that Kit got like you could literally put up a, 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 a the, the little scorecard up there, man, and see what happened. Mark was getting everybody, and the best part was <laughs> you already know what I'm about to say. Yep. Mark, Mark didn't know what to do. All of a sudden, you see this nigga on <laughs> you saw him on the cart. Oh, pop, 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 shooting everybody on the cart. He just rolls out there with one on the ass leg, and I'm like, yo, yo, no, but because the thing of it. Oh, I, I mean, sorry, can I mention that that was probably one of my favorite things about that shootout was the fact that you used a hand cart as a decoy. I mean, this nigga laid on it. Also, <laughs> also up to this point, it's like the movie forgot. Mark doesn't have a limp. Apparently, Mark doesn't have a limp anymore because he just rolled up there smooth like the limp did not exist. I was he like, did. Well, well, Chris, well, Chris, there again, but then again, <laughs> he obviously, uh, Mark obviously had two broken wrists because ain't no way in the world he dual wheeled <laughs> Uzis the way he did. <laughs> First off, Chow Young Fat can do anything that he wants. Yes, he can. <laughs> you also got to remember this is the. You also got to remember this is the same man who one year later would have a shotgun with infinite ammo, bruh. And bruh. It's so funny because what started this whole thing out was a grenade launcher, right? Was that a grenade launcher? Or was it a? The, it was a grenade launcher. But what I loved about it so much is that when it blew up, you just saw one dude leaping in the air like Kong did. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, I would say I like love when Kong got out the boat. It was the same like, shot, just jumping out. And I liked it because they showed this, they showed that thing, you know, blow up in slow motion, all that. And I and again, when you see the way it's shot, okay, I can see why everybody liked John Woo. Because that explosion, the way it was shot in slow motion, it looked cool as fuck. You still see people falling over and stuff like that. It's like, okay, I get it. I mean, I it. and I like how, like, when Mark gets there and stuff, Ho just looks at him like, what took you so long? And he just pulls out his pistol and was like, here's a gun. You're welcome. <laughs> and the smile on his face, though. The smile on his face. And then I like how both of them looked at Kit. So, uh, so Kit, what you going to do, nigga? You going to join in or what? <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> and it's a great fight. It's, the shootout is great. I, I, I mean, they, they 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 accurate as hell, as hell, man. Some of them shots bullshit. Man. Actually, oh, you, bullshit. oh, you say some? You say oh, some? D? Some, hold on, sir, hold on, nice. hold on, <laughs> hold on, sir. I'm gonna throw out one. I'm gonna throw out one scene for you. Shall you <laughs> fat with the Uzi? He literally just he literally his aim. His aim is just. Left, right, sway left and right, and yet somehow you're hitting everything. Now I'm not going to count the times I heard a bullet and I didn't see no muzzle flash. I'm not counting that because. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh wait, I almost forgot. There was one more piece. There was one more bullshit moment I want to bring up mm-hmm. since we're talking about the boat of the fight at the boatyard. 
Yes, sir. Bro, when Chow Young Fat turned that boat around and came back, and you saw him pull out, I think what was it? A shotgun. Apparently, it's a sniper rifle because it hit something. <laughs> first from first that off, sir, far. it's Halo. It's Halo One rules where the shotgun was a sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, first of all, you're on a boat. Second of all, I know you're a good distance away. Third, a shotgun. Also, I'm that asshole that plays Call of Duty, and I will try to snipe with a shotgun because I'm a I, dick. I'm sorry. I did this. When Kit get, ran out there and he had that revolver, this is exactly what I did. One, two, three, four, mm. five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven. 14, 13. Oh, yeah. He, now he dropped the gun. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> no, it's just when the brother, when the brother, <laughs> used it when, no more. No, no, when the brother, <laughs> when the brother ran out of bullets and picked a revolver, I was like, didn't the brother shoot off six shots? How the fuck he had another shot to end up? You moving? tell me, Chris. Yeah, he, yeah. He yeah. I'm not me. mad at it, but it's just like, all right. No, my question is hold on. You got a revolver. Sir, do you just carry spare bullets for a revolver in your pocket or something? I mean, for all of them. But though, at, are, like, do you just think to yourself, you know what? That one moment where I'm going to be in a gunfight, someone's going to have a revolver. I'm bringing the bullets. Which, but, which, but, Eris, you do have to realize a revolver bullet and a bullet that goes into a submachine gun are the same bullet. So apparently they are. I was, you know apparently what? I would say this though. It, it it definitely reminds me of why I feel the guys that what that 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 are behind like John Wick and a lot of these recent action movies. They clearly love the Hong Kong style of shootouts and all that yeah. stuff. You you clearly yeah. see the love there and stuff. Now, obviously, John Wick they go very tactical and practical with it because John he runs out of bullets. You see him reload doing tactical reloads and all that stuff. So the that's you know. the thing I love about, it. and I think they had to do that in the sense of just to give a, not not just to give a little bit of realism, but to make it a little bit more gritty or look, have you on the edge because. There's nothing better than when John has a rifle in his hand. Bah, 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 bah. He's reloading, reloading. Somebody's shooting at him. He takes out his other gun. Bah, 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 bah. Click, 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 click. Bah, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Nothing cooler than that. Just to see him go through that whole little exchange. He's still bucking niggas while he's reloading. So yeah. you do you do that to bring tension into the fight. Yeah. If there's going to be not that many bullets. Okay, fine. Let's really write that in, th- in there that there's only going to be six bullets in here. Because yeah. outside of that, you can fire off 10 of them. And trust me, the audience wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. Now, granted, I would appreciate this whole scene. They were taking cover. It wasn't just like a video game rules. Like, no, 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 no. All the video game rules when it came to shooting went to Ho. Because for whatever reason, Ho would stand up and there would be 50 niggas shooting at And this is the only thing you see. Like a flesh wound to the shoulder. That's all he no, got. Me, now here's me. He's standing up in front of all these guns, just just offing everybody. I'm sitting Fucking here going. Just- I'm sitting here going. Yo, sing. Your crew sucks, man. Yeah, dude, they do. Because obviously Ho has that thing on his controller where he doesn't get hit unless his crosshairs is at the in front. (laughs) Well, apparently the bill came due for uh, Mark because Mark got riddled like 50 times, 50, 11 times by everybody in that scene and stuff where you think they're going to get away and all of a sudden scene comes out nowhere with that shitting grin. And I'm like, dog, how many times are we shooting them? Like, this motherfucker is like, God, 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 God. Yeah, Mark. Mark got, I mean, you know, and it sucked for Mark because Mark was in the middle of telling uh, Kit, like, look, you can't forgive your brother. You really can't. You really in a shootout, no less. They're still getting shot at and they're talking. <laughs> See, for me, I'm sitting here going, time and place, bro. Yo, Mark, time and place, my dude. This really ain't the time. This really ain't nah, the place. Nah, that's a nigga that knew he was about to die anyway. He knew. <laughs> that's a nigga that knew. Look, I got, yeah, I I got like kiss 15, up. maybe a minute. I better kiss and make up right now, god damn it. It's like, do something while I'm still alive. While I don't want still- to be the cause of y'all guys making up with a... <laughs> <laughs> oh! like, I am... Like, listen, I am 24-year-old Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I am 24. 20- I said this at the beginning of the movie that I remember the sequel. And I think D, you had left. I laugh at John Woo with the sequel saying, Hey, Mark has a twin brother. No, I know no. about that story. Because here's the thing here's how I learned it. This is how D learned it. Because the only, because apparently I was wrong, the better tomorrow that I watched was the sequel. Yeah. So whatever, no big deal. 
But I was sitting there like, okay, he gets killed in this one. But he was clearly in the second one. I look it up. Twin, bro, fuck. Bro, but, but D, here's the funny part. We probably, we're probably definitely going to do the sequel. Man. But there's a moment in the sequel where even Ho is like, aren't you? D- Twin. Win. And he's like, Twin, Twin brother. Brother. You know what? That's you, know what movie, you know a movie that almost that almost went that route, Chris? And you and I talked about this. When we looked at the end of Fast Five. Let me tell you something. No, 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 no. Fast Nine is about to drop. I swear to fucking God, if Han is a twin I'm brother. If this is, Han, I thought you were you were dead. I was. <laughs> I swear. You know what? Nah, nah. I I'm so done with that franchise. I, nigga, I need you know what? Know what? No, 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 I swear to God, I needed to be Han had a twin brother <laughs> on some like Gundam <laughs> Double O. We found out Lock on Stratus had a twin brother named Lau Dandy. I was like, get the fuck out of here, show. Really? Lock on you had a twin brother? Really? All right. Show. I need that. Nah, nah, nah. It, no, no, no. Let it be like this. Let it be like, no. Okay, this is when it gets really stupid, Chris. <laughs> let <laughs> let it I mean, let him have uh, Nash's power from Street Fighter Five. He's only allowed to be back for a certain period of time. Actually, I know I know this is the fast broadcast, but I'm just gonna tell it right now. If he has the same fucking powers as Idra Elba's Black Superman from Hans and Shaw, Hans and Shaw, I'll be like, you know what? Fine, I'll take it. Why? Yeah. All right, movie. I don't, you know what? Look, this is why I'm not a part of it. The no Chris. Here's me. Remember when that nigga was like racing for pink slips? And- <laughs> 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 Sir, we said this on the Fast and Furious podcast. Chris, I agreed with you, and I keep telling you I agreed with you. But the reality is, remember when we was just racing? Do you no, remember, remember when? We, no, we were, no, Chris. Remember when Jaw was D, here? D, was D, this fun when Jaw was D. here? D, it wasn't no D. We weren't just racing. Remember, we were ripping off semi trucks for DVD players. You know, this is this is the reason why I was loving Tokyo Drift. It brought it back to the OG Fast and Furious. The, the kids are being kids. You know, Han ripped <sighs> off a fucking kid, even though he was working with Yakuza and Sony Chiba. Oh shit, it's full circle. Sony Chiba's back. God damn it. <laughs> Then all of a sudden it was like, you know what? Nah, y'all international fucking national treasure people now. I'm like, oh, God. Then, and then all I remember, they're going through Sao Paulo with a fucking <laughs> safe tied to cars. Nah, D. D. Do you remember the next movie? Dubai. They, going through buildings. Chris, yep. No, no. My favorite. Okay. This whole series could suck the biggest cock. My favorite one, the tank. <laughs> well, I mean, Ludacris said this in, guys. The they got a tank. No, 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 because and don't try to defend that because you just mentioned oh, no, 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 this is why I'm like, you know what movie? At this point, at this point, you do fast ten. You got to bring in John Woo and Doves. Fuck it, you've reached that point where you got to do it. Give John Woo in it. I'm standing by. I'm standing by. There better be a Gundam in the next one. <laughs> I stand by what I say. It better be in space. It better be in space, and I better give it. Like Dom, there's not enough time to stop the media. There's enough time where you have family. <laughs> That's what I need. It's already enough. I gotta believe that John Cena is his brother. I'm like, where? Where? The fuck <laughs> where? Where? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. What? Wait. Oh, that's wait, the plot of Fast Nine. Yeah, John Cena is his brother. Whose brother? Oh, John Toretto's Cena. brother. Yeah, he's Toretto. That's the plot. <laughs> and he hates. Oh, oh, D. And he hates him. And he hates him. <laughs> I swear to God, with me as yo, see my niggas later. It's been a good ride, man. Three black geeks, me. I swear to God, when Mia sat there and said, explained they had a brother, I was like, first off, are your guys going to do this shit where you do like a bit archive footage of Fast One and we see fucking John Cena in the background? Super, super imposed <laughs> into the background. 
<laughs> the only way I accept it, the only way I accept any of this, if there's an old picture of Dom in him where Dom has hair and John <laughs> Cena is dressed up like word life John Cena. That's the only no, way no, I accept no, it. No. I'm going to have your guys d- laughing in my end of podcast. I don't know how it's going to go. We flash back to when Tom, when Dom beat the shit out of old boy at the track, and we see John Cena in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. So wait a minute. It's a blink and you miss it. I never narked on no one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked. Let him drink it, nigga. <laughs> Hey, you just see. Hold up. You just see. And then cut footage is John going, Are you sure about that? Yeah, John, like, John, John in a fucking Camaro watching the whole thing transpire. And just or, drives or, or because, because just, just fan service, they pass him, uh, they pass down a picture. It was him and it was his brother, and it's Paul Walker. Does that man look familiar to you? That's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> find out find out he was in fucking South Florida during the chaos when they were running oh, drugs, Tyrese and shit. God. Or the only reason why they never got caught in Tokyo. <laughs> the only reason why he made it out to Tokyo was because of him. I swear there needs to be archival footage of John Cena at least talking to a fake uh, <laughs> uh, 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 a rock in this movie or something. Oh my oh, god, bro. man! But bro, bro, like after, after like like after Mark got shot up fifty eleven times and stuff, and Sing, Sing now two things credit the police roll up right, and Sing does what basically pulled the diplomatic immunity bullshit from Lethal Weapon two right. Where <laughs> I'm gonna give up. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna give up. Guess what? I got money. Yeah, I'll be in jail for about a couple of days, and then I'll get out on bail, and uh, everything be back to normal. And I like how Ho looked at him like, I hate you. I fucking hate you. Like, You're right. I'm like you're a, I'm like you're an asshole, but he, but you're right. Kit, Kit being on that, you know what? The police. By the way, the police didn't want him there. By the way, so he. That's what I'm saying. The police goes, didn't want him there, so Kit's already on fuck everything rules. Mm-hmm. Hands him the revolver and just said, "Do work." I'll turn around and pretend I didn't see that happened. Mm-hmm. And seeing with this look of like. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that was missing was a zoom in like your boy off of Death Wish. I was just gonna say that, like, dude, was that was his death. Yo, that was his death wish. It sings Death Wish face dude, is Sing, the moment he got shot. Cause Sing looked, cause Sing pretty much kind of looked at whole like, man, you ain't about that life. You ain't gonna kill me. <laughs> you really, you gonna kill me in front of the cops? You are I'm man like, of peace right now. And let's just be real. You and Yellow Taxi is all you got left. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, a man, a man, a man with yellow taxis, right? The same man in yellow taxis who showed up seeing his crew at the taxi, like at the cab station, getting beat up. He came in with that smoke. Yeah, I like that. How how it was just whole fighting off all these niggas, and all of a sudden, my one boy, come on, guys, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> and that one dude had a comically over oversized wrench in his hand. Yeah, that right there was beautiful. What the fuck that yeah. wrench gonna do? Like, dude, first of all, hold up. We're going back to Fast and Furious. The same thing that all wrenches do. Every time a wrench shows up in Fast and Furious, it's always the most intimidating Actually, thing. Side note, also, I need John Cena in that flashback when Dom beat the shadow dude on the track with the wrench. Yes. I need that. I need yeah, that in my I need, life. I need John Cena investigating that scene after uh who was that? Uh Tony Ja fell off with that truck. <laughs> <laughs> I need him in the trench coat. I know who did this. Who is it? Somebody very familiar. Who? My brother. <laughs> it just walks off. <laughs> I mean, because it's not enough. You got fucking Charlie Stera and helping John Cena. So I'm like, oh boy, here we and go. I'm one step closer to bringing him in. Dude, when he said, I'm sorry, when he said that's his brother, I was like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, I can believe a lot of shit in your movies. This is the line. This is the line. <laughs> well, not- it- it not, to got say, not to safe dragging, not to you know driving through the door. That's a line, John Cena's brother. I'm like, yes, yes, yeah, it is. That's a line. Sorry. As I'm looking at here, yeah, that's in the uh, cliche handbook. You can do that, brother, <laughs> brother, sister, missing twin, and my favorite one, gay dad. <laughs> so you can do that. 
<laughs> I swear to God, if Dom's dead, if the if, yo, if Dom, Dom, and fucking if Toretto's dead ends up popping up, he beat cancer or some dumb shit and stuff. I'm gonna Toretto's laugh. No, no, no. First of all, Toretto's dad would have to somehow be completely burnt with skin grafts because remember he did he died in a car. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Uh huh. There was that. Anyways, yeah, yeah. So the good question but, is this. So the good question is this: Do you make him a Spaniard or a white guy? Ooh. He's gonna be white. Go. I know he's going to be white. I know he's going to be white, but I can easily see him like, there's that you and Dane Trail. Dumb. I've been meaning to talk to you. I'm like, yo, whoa, 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 wait. Toronto is actually Spanish. And not, and I mean, it's, already en- it's already enough that Vin Diesel is like racially ambiguous and shit. So it's like, you know, sure. He's like, sure. He's like, he's like, yeah, man, you was everything but black. And here's Vin Diesel. You know what? Actually, it's actually really interesting. My first name was going to be Daquan, but they said, nah, too ethnic. So, you know, <laughs> It wasn't gonna be Dom. It's gonna be Day Day. But anyway, so Day Day Toretto, what the fuck? That's so so Sing so Sing gets shot like three times and stuff, and you know Hope drops the gun. At this point, uh, Hope grabs the handcuffs from off of, of them and handcuff and handcuffs himself to uh, um Kit. Uh, well, Kit. Kit. And Kit's looking at his brother like. The fuck you doing? I was gonna tell you to go. Like I, I got this, and he's like, "No, I'm he's like, no, gonna, no, I want another chance." My man said, "I want another chance to do it right." I'm like, "Uh, do you see the the mountain of bodies you left behind?" But to be fair, this works out for his brother because his brother would probably get promoted. Like, hey, I arrested my brother now, so you can give me that promotion, boss. Or it was, or in Ho's head. Plus, you can get me off. A year later, what the fuck you mean you can't get me on your bro? <laughs> I, I mean, told you me. to leave. I mean, I, I mean, covered I mean. you. I covered you. Now, if you excuse me, I'm getting another medal from the Chinese government. See ya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Stuff no, 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 no. I'm getting another medal from the Chinese government. Check Chan's going to be there. <laughs> Make it. Oh, I love the clap. Part. I love the clap. I love the clap. Like, oh joy, oh joy. That's the best part, Chris. Is 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 right after he hands him the handcuffs, he says, I want another chance to do it right. They walk towards the police, freeze frame, roll credits. Um, now, now, now. Oh, one more. Hey, hey, Chris, one more. One more. Uh, like, I got to get there. Gong Lee's going to be there. It's 1986, and her vagina is puffy. See? <laughs> <laughs> now, I, much like Rick and Morty, puffy vagina. That's not a bad thing, no? What? So, so is that a good thing? <laughs> now, I, I have to say this. Um, it is in this timeline. <laughs> now, 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 I have to say this though too. Um, I was sort of triggered a little bit about where the, the scene ended because you know, seeing two guys walk towards cops that got their guns pointed, I'm kind of like, yeah, yes. Hey, hey, Eric, hey, Chris. <laughs> That's a country where everybody looks the same. Number two. They ain't no niggas in China. I know that's what I was like. <laughs> they did this. If they pull, they tried to pull this scene off in America, and it's like two black guys walking out ooh. with the cops. Ooh, ooh, mm. ooh, 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 hey, ooh, hey, hey, Chris, ooh, hey, Chris, because... hey, Chris, hold on, I got you. So, in other words, another queen is slim. Yeah. See, see, the difference <laughs> is they didn't get they see 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 the difference is they just wouldn't have got betrayed by fucking not slim flub No, no, so. no, 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 no. Never mind. Whether they get whether they got betrayed or not, it's the fact that the cops are there. There's and no they're room. and they're there. They're unnecessarily killed. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, but uh, uh, but now you you said that makes you feel some way. Now here's the funny thing, Chris, and I can keep it a twirl to 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 how politics are. Um, there's a group of people in China called Uyghurs. Yes, Uyghurs starts with U R G E R E R S. I think that's how you say. It. But Uyghurs, they are pretty much um, the. Mu- Islamic Chinese people. They live on the edge. Of, they live on the edge of um. I forgot which um country in China. Um, they're pretty much are tortured every day by the government. They're killed for no reason. Think of the worst crap in the world. Just think of it. Think of it. Oh yeah. And if you dare, I swear to God, if you start praying toward the east, we will fucking shoot you. Wow. Yeah, that's how they take it. That's how. That's that's all like that. They can't go nowhere. And if they put something on Facebook saying, man, it's sucky in China, that's your family, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, so yeah, that being said, yeah, you can bring them up. Yeah, that's they, they have their own black people over there, which kills me because it's like y'all look the same. They just they just think our lives dope. Why the fuck? 
I mean, <laughs> they did exactly the same. That's they how, don't care. That's how, oh, they world. That's how the but world. Nah, is, but, but besides that, but like I said, besides that, it ends on a good note. They they you know they basically walk off into the. Come song. on, man. We got a, we got a Jap- we got a Chinese guy singing. Who said you? A man got bars. <laughs> got a lot of bars. I got to be honest with you. At least to me, all of those songs in the end, they're either going to be. Is if they're up tempo, they all sound the same. If they're slow, they sound the same. Just to me, just to and me. Then, oh, 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 and then, AD, AD, and then there's Jackie Chan. Oh man, <laughs> Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan sounds like he fights. He sings with a bald fist through the whole song. Who ha he who? <laughs> he is very enthusiastic. I'll say that much. I'll like, give him that. <laughs> like what was that song of his? Uh, oh, his fucking song in Who Am I? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, now here's the thing about this movie. So John Boo got Chow Yun Fat because he wasn't he didn't have the look of a conventional action hero. Hmm. Okay. Which is which is interesting. He didn't look like the typical act. Now, granted, now we know Chow Yun Fat as an action hero because of these movies, but like the initial when he initially cast him for this role. He didn't look like an action hero. He was he, that's that was the point that John was trying to go for. He didn't want to go with somebody that had like that action hero edge to him and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, also, too, uh, apparently, uh, dusters became popular after this movie. Uh, you think after, after in, the, in that country? I was like, I, I'm not shocked <laughs> again. You think, <laughs> yeah, so you also, know. also, uh, I would believe it that this was the movie that made him a breakout star overseas. Considering he came from 12, like 12 and a half dozen other movies before this, but this is the one that broke him out there. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's. I think, and, and it was just not China. It was actually the world, man, because this, because this movie got critical appraise across the world, especially. And remember, during that time, England still occupied um, Hong Kong. So that's how, you know, that's how I got some of the international praise, too. Yeah. Chow Young Fat. Put his put his mark out there, and everybody and they, he got awards, all that for us, man. This was his breakout one, but I think the one that really did it was Hard Boy. Oh, yeah, of course, the Hard Boy took it took it over, mm-hmm. man. That, that, that I just, was, the one thing I meant to, and I meant to, I wish I said it earlier. Chow Yun Fat has enough charisma where he can um um act in every language. It's just that who's going to give him the better opportunities? Much like mm-hmm. Ken Watanabe. Ken Watanabe is on that same level of like I can. Speak several different languages. I can do this shit. Which one of y'all going to actually pay me? <laughs> you know, Wait, pretty much. I just thought, like, I, and I just thought of something. Much how, much like how I said this was his breakout movie. So you could say, uh, you could say, a better tomorrow was his The Terminator, mm-hmm. and Hard Boiled is Terminator Two. Or, mm-hmm. 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 no, no, that that's a bad. I was that was going to be a bad analogy. Robo, no, 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 fuck it. Never mind. The point is, but you're right, you're right. It's sort of like that. Um, but yeah. I mean, you think about it, you did you do three, you do three of the uh, a better tomorrow movies and stuff, and it was really like actually, technically, the killer is what kind of put them on, but yeah, hard boiled just phew, shoot them through Good the moon. question is this because, and I always ask this question about all the actors because plenty of the actors, uh, uh, plenty of Asian actors know how to speak their native language in English. Mm-hmm. What is it? What is what do their agents see in them that they can think they can make them an international star? Is the question, you know what I mean? I always because I noticed that that a lot of agencies that get these big time stars in their own country, they got big plans for them. They think, oh, you're going to be in this one American movie and just going to catch on. I'm like, what makes you think even that? Well, I, mean, I think <laughs> it was I think because it was right right after Hard Boiled that he got he was he was in the replacement kills. That was his first. Movie now, like I said, I think Replacement Kills is probably his one American movie that I can legit say that, at the very least, I can give Fuqua credit that he took advantage of Chow Young Fat's charisma. I think that's what I think it is. I think that's the only one that a lot of people know him from. I think people know who Chow Young Fat is, but the movie that's the one they said. Replace yeah, because that because it, it, felt, it felt like Fuqua was like, look, I got Chow Young Fat. This guy's in hardball. You got damn right. I'm gonna use his charisma and him shooting guns and fucking up people. I'm gonna use that shit. Yes, I got. Also, let's, also, let's, also also not, let's also not forget you had a lot of his charisma in the Corruptor. Yeah, yeah. Opposite Marky Mark. Yeah, he was true. actually really good in the Corruptor. I think that really showed that he could do he can he can do English. He can yeah. do English very well and convey it because it's hard to convey. 
it's hard to be uh, foreign and still convey a feeling in that same culture. You know what I mean? Like, that's why it's kind of hilarious that all three of us laugh at um, Oscar. Oscar can't speak. Uh, Oscar, <laughs> God, it sounds like the English language takes her into a corner and beats her with a bat. But she has more on screen charisma than any other woman. Now, you know, that, you know, that's not going to roster or none of that. But I'm just saying, when you just go over overall charisma, she doesn't have to speak English and you would understand her. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, Shinsuke, there are some people that can't do that. Meanwhile, Shinsuke will joke and say, I'm sorry, no speaker any English. <laughs> it was so funny. It was really so funny. It was, like, it was like, Shinsuke, but you can speak perfect English. I can. That's, a, that's no the more like it. <laughs> that's the more hilarious thing too. Is that, like I look at Shinsuke, I'm like Shinsuke, you clearly speak better English than Oscar. Bro, why, are you, like, doing, Shinsuke, why are you doing this? English. English. He knows how to speak it very well. You don't give a fuck. This one makes it funny when he said that. When he said that line, I'm sorry, I don't I speak like, English. I, I, laugh. Look, I don't give a fuck what you say. I know a lot of people are mad, but for me, hey yo, Shinsuke, you don't need to be WWE champion. You just won me forever. <laughs> You put a white woman in her face, <laughs> sarcastically, no speak at English. <laughs> that did so much for my soul. And I hope every Asian person that was sitting at home goes, fuck yeah. Oh, you, you, know, you, know, you, you know, you know, Oscar was sitting in back like, I don't understand this, but this is great. <laughs> no, no, Oscar heard that. They ain't gonna fire you for that shit. I'm like, I'm gonna make white people ain't gonna be bad for us to this shit. It's just Americans think it's funny when we talk like that. Oh, yeah, they racist, ain't they? Like, yeah, I know. Hey, D, hey, D, there was actually, there's something, uh, there was something else too. Not only did, uh, not only did Shinsuke do that, when Trump was still president, I think this was during his first year or whatever, I remember he came <laughs> to Japan. He came to Japan and he met with the prime minister. Uh, who oh, still- when prime, yeah, when, when Abe, when Abe was still, when he was still the prime minister, Trump met with him and his wife. His wife managed to avoid a whole two-hour session of not having to talk to him by pretending she didn't speak English. Oh my god, that was hilarious. That, that was that yeah. was by far the best thing I had heard. I woke up that morning in Tokyo hearing this, like like hearing about this, and I'm laughing my ass off. Because I just me. That mm-hmm. you like to I like me. genius, pure genius. <laughs> because it is, and I think I think a white I think a white person hearing that will go going like that. That's stupid, blah blah blah. Black people, <laughs> that's how you do it. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you know what, what what kills me? I think it. There's I, I, nothing more disrespectful. Of, mm, I can speak a language. Fuck you. <laughs> and and I think with Chow, it's like those, I think you know, like I said, the corrupter and like replacement killers. It kind of felt like it took advantage of certain things that he could do. But then it's just like all of a sudden, boom! She's he's in Anna and the King, and I was like, oh boy. I oh think boy. Anna. And the King, here's the thing: Anna only white people like Anna and the King. Yeah, I know, right? Like I, 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 I yeah, didn't get it. The whole King and I stories only white people like that because it's the white women that went over to Siam and told the the brutish, the brutish savage how not to be all violent and how to learn to love. And it's a and it's a it's a it's a swirl story too when you really look at it. So everything. <laughs> So like like I hate yeah yeah fuck all that I think also Chris America has this habit of when it comes to somebody coming from China they think oh you could do kung fu no the fuck I can't yeah, no the fuck I can I can good. man I can do white belt punches for you that's about all I can do for you that's how you get bulletproof monk and I'm like I'm supposed to believe I'm supposed, say, supposed to I was, believe Stifler is a kung fu master fuck I was just going to say that I was going to say yeah and then Chai Yun Fat could do comedies like bulletproof monk. And even he did, he did that well. Even with the the dirt the dirt shit they gave him in Dragon Ball, he was like, "That's Roshi, fuck yeah, it, suck it. <laughs> y'all can suck. I won't. I Dude, even dog dog even in Pirates of the Caribbean, forgot his ass was in that third movie. He popped up as the fucking as was it Captain hey, South, Captain I'll Fing. Think. I was like, huh? He he's definitely hey. he, he acting his ass off, and then all oh, killed. Well, that yeah. sucks. And it is kind of funny. There was a whole little controversy about that because the Chinese government didn't want to see him get killed by a white person or at least killed on, on camera. I forgot what the rule was. Yeah. But it delayed it delayed it for like a week or so before me being released or something yeah. like that. It was weird. Yeah. But but even with that, I remember when I saw him, people I remember I saw him on time. I'm like, oh shit, tell you fact. And people legit were in a the movie, they're like, ooh. 
I forgot this nigga was in this movie. You're like, oh, and then you see the shot. Like, yes, right. wait. It's Chai Young Fat. We know who he is. Dude, like, dude, the I, fuck you got that. The fucking Stranglehold video game, which was the unofficial sequel to Hard Boiled. Yeah. People forget how huge that was that they got him back to do the voiceover and to do the mocap for that game. I mean, it's mm-hmm. literally it, it's literally hard boiled the video game. In fact, the movie is hard boiled so much that the movie hard boiled is in the video game. Actually, they pa- you can okay. wa- they, you can I bought the, the game. Movie. It was it was packaged with the game. The Blu-ray of Hard Boiled, if you bought the game, it came with it. Like that shit was it. huge. It's a shame I, they didn't do more games of it, but like that dude held weight. And I think a lot of us, we just wanted him to like really blow up like Jackie Chan here, and it just I, didn't. The closest, the closest, the close, and the closest thing that we got to a sequel to uh to Stranglehold was um what was it? Uh uh, uh oh god, what's the name of that game? What uh, are you talking about sleeping the dogs? Man? No, sleeping, sleeping dogs. dogs. Yeah, kind of technically. Sleeping dogs, sleeping dogs is yeah. like the closest thing we got to a sequel because Rise to Honor came out before um, mm-hmm. Stranglehold. Yeah. Now I will say this about about Chayanne Fat. I would believe knowing Hollywood, especially Hollywood in the late, you know, like in the nineties, two thousands, and even today, if Bruce Lee was still alive, Hollywood would have a field day with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, back in the 60s, they didn't really want to fuck with him like that outside of giving him minor shit. And it wasn't until he went overseas, became a big international star over there, that they decided, hey, we want to do something with you. I'm from the country. You know what I'm saying? I was born in America. I wanted to blow up here. Y'all fucked me over. <laughs> and now that I've blown up overseas, you want me. But th- that's how. But see, that's how it is, Eris. I was going to say that it's kind of funny that Amer- Americans just don't know how to produce the, the Chinese like that. We they just don't. And we're going to be we're going to bring this up again. You know that, right? The next yes, one we, we are. Gonna bring this up yes, again. we are. We're gonna yes, bring we it up. because we have to because it's just like Chow Young Fat. Lucky, lucky for him, he's a big enough star. He's fine. You know, he, he went back to China. Was like, I'm gonna do Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and you're gonna love this shit. A couple of really good movies, young know, in China that never came out in America. One of my favorite ones, the um, God, I forgot the name of that bitch. Now I forgot the name of the motherfucker. Uh, it was him and Gong Li. Where he's I was about to say, wasn't him and Gong Li that movie? Yeah, I forgot the name of it now. God damn it, it just it escaped my head. But but even at that, but he was really good. I think he got a couple of awards for that, man. Right? Like like, was it Let the Bullets Fly? No, no, let the bullets fly. I forgot about that movie. No, Curse like, of the Golden Flower. Yeah, yeah. Curse of the Golden Flower. That's Flower. Yeah, I was gonna say dragon. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> I hate that about Chinese movies. It's always a dragon. <laughs> Sometimes there's a flower. dragon or a monkey. It's like <laughs> a monkey, right. a dragon, a flower. Speaking of which, like we said early, like I said early in the um, podcast, Sue Hark was in this movie, and just the fact that he directs the third, um, Better Tomorrow, and then you look at all the rest of the stuff, it's like yo. This was like four years before you blew up and and made um Iron Monkey, dog. That, that, that third like, better tomorrow. Was, that third better tomorrow was basically, hey, let's do a flashback to back when Mark was Billy Badass, and it's like, all right, let, all you right, know, let me go. tell you something about let me tell you something about Sue about Sue Hart's work. Anytime you watch anything of Sue Hart's work, you are getting gold. Yes, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you are. Yes, you are. There is like like John Woo to me is great when it comes to sequences and all the rest of that. Hawk, this is his whole movie. This whole movie has this energy of like, oh, you see where we at? We're gonna be this way for the rest of the movie. I mean, dude, I look at Iron, look at Iron Monkey. Iron Monkey was like that. Iron Monkey, second guy killed. Like, oh yeah, don't worry. Five minutes is another one. <laughs> no, there's more. There is more. There. Oh there. man, you want to see? Nah, oh, man, we got this one stunt. Nah, oh, man, this. I call Sue the Sue Sue Hawk the the master of wire food. He knows I mean, how dude, to make that crap look, look real at, good. Look at fucking I mean, Detective yeah, D. Detective look at the look good. I mean, look at Detective D. I was like, that is a wire food oh goddamn God. movie. It felt like there was just a, a fat guy just bouncing up a <laughs> <down. laughs> The entire movie with these people, man. Uh, another Once good another, time in China was like that too. Yeah, I was just acting, nigga. All of them. All the Once Upon a Time in China movies were like that. This and he would end up working with Jet Li, Jackie Chan. I think he worked with Donnie Yen. I don't know if he worked with Donnie Yen, but still, he worked with all of all these top stars in China, man. So it is kind of funny to see him as pretty much John Woo's buddy. Hey, man, can you put me in a movie? Uh, you know, background character, music director. Hey, can they bust out my window with a cello? 
Bet. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh so man. Funny. when I saw when I saw them do that scene, I looked at that person. I didn't recognize him. I'm like, why are they putting so much emphasis on this music teacher? And I just said, I don't know why, but I looked up music to sue up. what <laughs> oh, you know, and you know the other thing that Sue also did was the wicked city. Yeah, not, not oh, oh wicked city, the, the wicked, wicked city, city the <laughs> wicked city. The one that's cool. I mean, it's super loosely based on the anime. But yeah, it's the same movie. It's just not will, as, it it's not it's, as ridiculous. It's not as ridiculous, but I would give this a sue. All right, all right, cool. You, you cool. tried. You, you tried your best. Tried. You tried his best. I I give it a passing grade, not by a bit. I give it a passing grade. It's a D plus. I said passing grade. <laughs> <laughs> you did just you enough. Know, and you know the other movie he worked on, uh, The Master. That Jet Li I movie? I've never seen mm-hmm. it. I know of so, it. I've never seen it. So check it out. So the movie came out in 1992, but they finished the movie in 89. The only reason why they released it was because of the success of Once Upon a Time in China. Wow. So they yep. had that thing in a can for four years. Yep. Mm-hmm. Everybody thought it was Jet Li's like, like 90s movie. Nah, bro. He made that in the 80s. Wow. <laughs> Just nah. that's not even like you look with this distribution. No, nigga, this was in China. What? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I would say this, folks. Um, you can actually get a better tomorrow on regular DVD. I don't know if they re put it out again. Did they? I, that thing is a better tomorrow's on Blu ray, sir? Official Blu ray or official Blu ray? No, Ooh. not even bootleg. You can get okay, they, they have it on Blu ray overseas. Because there's a lot of movies that I was you say can here in America, but there could be, you can actually watch you can, uh, Amazon. You can pick it up from Blu-ray.com. Just go, like it's yeah, it's, it's all right, right stuff. I keep, right forget, stuff. I keep forgetting that the, that it's region free with Blu-rays. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, it's oh, region free. Oh, yeah, actually, don't 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 listen to me on right stuff, y'all. That was the that was the the latest <laughs> Better Tomorrow. Don't yeah, me. yeah, yeah. It's the latest. No, you can get the original. The original Better Tomorrow is on Blu-ray. Yeah, I see. It's here on the Blu-ray. Twenty ten, but like I said, twenty ten better tomorrow is pretty good too. It, you know, like I said, they when we were talking earlier about how you updated and stuff. The difference in that one is they're gun smugglers in that one. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, see, that will make more sense. Yeah, smuggling and that's a that's a thing that's always going to be here. That or drugs will be the two things that will go for. I don't want like. I think I know. I think I know. If you were redo the movie and you would have it be drugs. That would be more of an American thing, but if you redo that, make it drugs, it'd be like, now this is every movie I've fucking seen in America. No, yeah. they, no. Here's how you make it today: viruses. You, I, we're just going to stay on Bitcoin, are we? We're just going to no. stay on Bitcoin. No, 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 no. Viruses being sold on the black market. That could work. That's the thing. That could work. Ooh, that hits a little bit too close to home. The Chinese gonna be like, "What y'all trying to say?" <laughs> no, 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 no. See, the fact that China will release it would be like a big fuck you to everybody. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you saying that China does that? Oh, that's a gigantic fuck. You. Well, like yeah. I said earlier, that, like, would, that, would, be, China that would be China being ahead of the curve before everybody else thinks of that shit. Because I said it earlier, because yeah. I, I said it earlier, like we've seen these type of movies with the brother being on one side of the law and the other brother being on the opposite side of the law. And there was always a thing I used. We own the night as an example and stuff of that. If you try to do that and stuff. And I was like, yeah, but they always do it to where it's like somebody has to go into witness protection because now he's a snitch and shit. And I'm like, and nah. we on the night pretty much exposed that to me of being, you could do this, but it'll probably work better for a television show. Than yeah. That's yeah. again. That, that's the reason why I'm not so big on them re, redoing this movie in, 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 in English. Because if they do it, it's like it's going to look like every other drama, crime drama that we kind of seen. It's mm-hmm. going to look regular. What makes it new, unique is the fact that it's set in 1986 in Hong Kong, and it ain't got one American in it. Mm-hmm. That's why that this thing is so special. Because because you can tell white people had no touch in this outside of the couple of white guys that showed. I was up. say outside of the couple of white guys that was there in the beginning, including the like white guys that just happened to be like, I'm I'm on the John Woo film, yay! See, not just in the it. John Woo, hold on, not just in the John Woo film, but in uh, like, oh, I'm in like I'm enjoying this uh, this economic bubble right now. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this was this is 1986. This yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. 86. Oh, oh man. Cool. 
Hong Kong. China wouldn't. Hong Kong, though? Yes. Greed is good. Gordon Gecko over here? She. Greed is good. All these British people are just, just throwing money everywhere. Nigga, it's beautiful here in Hong Kong, nigga. Oh, man, we just made a big, we just made a big fuck-off statue of Bruce Lee. We're going to tear it down and make a bigger one. <laughs> That's how we balling out here. So, <laughs> so uh, but yeah. I think, uh, but I always find it funny. Like, like to me, that's how you know how when people say get mad when Americans try to draw in the anime style. Yeah. It's sort of like that. Like, like I like um, Lashawn Thompson. He's great. Love that brother. I can tell you ain't Asian. <laughs> <laughs> the line work just tells me this ain't anime, dog. It's attempting to be anime, but it ain't. So you see what I'm saying? It's sort of like that. You can kind of just like this ain't authentic no more. It's not unique no more. You know what I mean? It's been manufactured at this point. Put it that way. That's yeah. why. That's why I don't think bringing it over to the states is going to make it better. No, no. If you do do that, make it all Asian people. Mm. I'm serious. Make it American. Make it all Asian people. I'm dead serious right there. That's how you make that. And shit. let it be a period piece. Let it take place in the '80s. You know what? Yeah. Let it be in San Francisco in the '80s. Yeah. All Asian people. All and Asian, the drug, not and the, Asian Chinese, keep it to one ethnicity. And the drug, and the drug of choice at that time, opium. No one will see that shit coming. I said San Francisco. You said drug of choice. Here's me, penis. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just the way D said. D said China it just reminds me of fucking Ice Cube and fucking uh that that fucking movie. Uh, with the bikers and stuff, where he was going after that white kid, he's like, "Yeah, that boy was in Indochina." I, <laughs> out. I was like, "Bro, you didn't have you emphasized the Indo Indochina." Indochina. I, I was like, "Bro, like what? What is with us as black people when we just say Indochina?" I'm like, it's "Like what I is Indochina?" I don't understand what the it's fuck is China. Indochina. It's like him and the fucking uh, Ving Rhames and damn Pulp Fiction is like, yeah, I want a guy, I want a fucking assassin, a bowl of China and a bowl of rice in Indochina, pop a cap in his ass. I'm like, what in the fuck is this? Hey, man, that's how they said it back in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That That is true. So. Yo, what the fuck? No, but I laugh at it, man. You got to, if you, like, this is going to look like everything else. Yes, you can make it an all-Asian cast. I think that would be a very smart thing to do. Updated. If you want to update and redo any of these old classic Chinese movies, fine. But if you want it to be unique and have at least a fucking fighting chance, you do not well, have it starring Mark Wahlberg. This is why starring Ryan Gosling. You do not have it starring good looking white boy. This is don't why get I, people. Do not throw people. Do not. Do not no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck all that. Stop going off of the clutch of. We got to put, we got to put a name in here that's going to put butts and seats. Exactly. No, yeah. you do not do that. Not on this one. No, you either make this a television show or you make this a, a serious ass movie and put only Asian people in the starring role. That's what yeah, you think. Down, <laughs> down to the dude that's like giving them the opium, like keep it where it's plot. Let's give them opium. Hey man, this is good. Hey, if you want to make it look, if you look, if it's too many Chinese people, make sure that nigga's Vietnamese then. Seriously, you keep this uh, as as Asian as possible. This is I want I, white people. I, to, I want white people to treat the 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 Chinese man that's directing this like they treat on um, Tyler Perry. Ooh, they're making a movie. The Chinamen are making a movie. <laughs> this is why I'm appreciative of CW saying, "Hey, we're not going to make the same mistake. We're actually going to have a very multi." Multi Asian cast in the Kung Fu show. It's actually not bad, but yeah, you can you kind of have to do that. Yeah. Also, to do that. All, like yeah. also, also, if you're gonna do this remake, of course, it would be dumb for you not to do it. Make sure that at least at a minimum of five characters are wearing dusters. Yeah, yeah. Too. Also, yeah. also, also, bring Chow Young Fat as a cameo, just because. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Hell, no, no, no. I got an even better one for you, Chris. Not just Chow Yun, I mean, not just Chow Yun Fat. Everybody from the first movie, if they're live, if if no, if they're willing to do it, yeah, if they're, they're willing, willing to do it, it. if they're willing to do it, if they're willing to do it, Chow Yun would do it if you just give him enough money. Of course, Chow would do that. Chow would do that. Everybody Chow would be gung ho for it. John will probably be gung ho for it. The only person like, you're not, the only person that you're in probably that you will more than likely not get is Emily Chu. 
Oh hell no! no. Is she is, did she pass away or is she like? No, she's still alive. She just retired after like oh. what was it? She retired in like the mid nineties because she started in the she started in the eighties. And hold on, let me see something here. I believe no chew was hold up. I got her name. Yeah, she has been active since nineteen eighty three to nineteen ninety four. She's mm. 60. She only had, yeah, she only had a 10-year career. Yeah, I get it. It's always weird. I like I know that about some actors, but they do that. Like, see, to me, though, careers love all that. You know, just to just to wrap up the little conversation. Real talk, yes, you do as much as possible you can, but I want this to be if it's a known actor, it needs to be a known Chinese actor that's from America. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like. Do your due diligence is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Yep. I don't want this to be, uh, I don't want to be the little halfway thing where the guy who's playing Kit, he goes home and his girlfriend's a white girl. Stop. Don't do that. Don't. Like, you know what I mean? Don't half-ass the shit because you don't ran out of Asian people. I hate it when they do that. Now, the, the shootout scene, okay, now you can bring bring the different races in there getting their heads blown off. You can do that. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, like you, you, you have to like, black guy. Ugh! You know, that's why well, at that point, that's why I was like, I don't think they're going to remake. I, that's why I'm like, as much as I see them remaking it over in China and South Korea, I don't see them doing it in America, but I'm not holding my breath because they're probably going to do it. And they're going to be like, we're going to tap the John Wick guys to do a better tomorrow. And it's like, all right. All right, man. I bet this thing going to be good. God, this thing is pretty good. What was the plot about? <laughs> Keanu Reeves in a better oh. tomorrow. <laughs> Keanu Reeves in a better tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Chris, you said this movie was remade. Oh. Uh, Twice it was actually remade three times. Yeah, 2010 and 2018. Nope. I said three times, sir. No, no, no. I'm just trying to think. What was the third one? Third one was actually re- it was a Hindi version released in 1994. It was ah! a Hindi version. Of ah! course, it was a Hindi version. Well, I like how Chris, no, but Chris was about to say his rule, but he didn't want to say it, so I'll say his rule. I don't count Hindi versions, nigga. <laughs> So I know you were gonna say that, but I was just like, oh, I, that that, shit, that, there's, a, there's wow. a Hindi version. Like, wow, I did not. Wow, huh. he's a oh, no. Bollywood version. Here, nigga. No, 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 no. Check it out. Here, I just dropped it. I dropped it. No, I'm on. looking at the picture of the fucking cover now, and I'm like, this looks nowhere near what a better tomorrow. <laughs> I was gonna say, blow wow. that shit up. Blow that shit. Up. I can't even blow no, the picture. What up. the hell, no, bro? No, no, I put it in the group chat. I, put, I just seen it. What the hell? Yo, my man. Yo, I like what's that? Atasha, uh, Atisha, is that what it says? What's this, Harris? Atisha. Yo, actually, I think that movie's way better than this one. Just off that cover. I'm just gonna, <laughs> listen. I'm gonna tell you this. Yo, Dude, I mean, I can't see you guys. Hold up, peep, hold up, peep the peep the like peep my man on the left with no face. I think I could find a big better picture. Yo, you gotta find hey, a big better picture than that. Hey, Chris, right? I mean, hey, D, hold up, mm-hmm. peep my man on the left with no face. Look at my nigga. Oh God, I lost the picture. There it is. Yo, yo, God, can I zoom in on this bitch? I need to zoom in on this bitch. God damn, but look at my man right here. I can't even tell, man. I like how and I like how dude in the I middle. Like how, I like how the random car is just right there. He's just posting the. Hold on, that's supposed to be Mark. Look at his leg. Yep. Oh, I found a better one. Oh, geez. I found a better one. I found a better one. Uh, I, t- I, t- <laughs> I bet the I bet the the trailer is just as helpful. That looks like <laughs> it's just as helpful. I think about it, Eric. That's a trailer that you click on. And you're like, God, why is it loud? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, hold no. up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I'm so no. Before we go any no. Before we go anywhere with this, this right. movie no. D, hold on. This movie has the nerve, the the fucking gall to be newly <laughs> like a new Disney remastered. Hold up! Feel the fire! Look, I get it. I do get it. There are more movies made in India than there are in the United States. Hey, them I Bollywood get. films ain't no sh- ain't no joke, hey, yo, man. My nigga has playing ho has this look of he has this look on his face like he been drinking coffee like <laughs> thing up for days. Well, well Mister uh, Mister what Great Value Don the Dragon Wilson. Yo, <laughs> yo, look at Kenny Omega's Kenny Alpha in the background. Look at him. Kenny Alpha. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no,
Kenny Gamma. <laughs> Gamma. That is Kenny Gamma. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Like, bro, who does? Oh, 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 oh. I got one more before we go. I got one more. I got one more. I, I love the fact that, see, here's the thing, though. The one thing I give Nollywood, Bollywood, um, China, and to an ex- even to an extent how um, Australia is, they Australia and New Zealand is when it comes to shooting their films, it, it's done where it's like, White people ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> but not with that with uh New Zealand feels, but you know what I mean. It just feels like this, just a whole different okay. Yo. Look, at, look, at this, look at the Super Nintendo cartridge art that we're getting for this right here. Yeah. First of all, check out my man on the far right look I'm trying to channel his his most Jackie Chan. <sighs> no, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, wow. brother, yo. You're bad on the, on the end over there looking all bad. <laughs> my nigga in the middle all bloody. Oh, my God, man. This is hilarious. This is this is just great, man. Who knew, man? Of course they did a Hindi version. Why wouldn't they? Oh, boy. But anyways, folks, uh, thanks for joining in on this great Saturday. We actually get to – me and D can actually jump in and watch some WrestleMania on the Peacock. Oh man, I told my I asked my buddy, he's like, Hey man, you got that cock? I was like, You like what? Oh man, y'all mean that peacock? And I just thought about like peacock password. I thought dug myself, nah, we're gonna call it cock from here on out. <laughs> yeah, you just reminded me I probably do need to start the, the network is gone and done now, right? Oh, it's it's finito. You need to buy a new one, man. Oh, okay, cool. Just sure. want to be sure. Just want to be sure. <laughs> they empty <MDI>, out <laughs> the U-Haul truck left out three days ago with everything. It's gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's left out three days like that dude in fucking know, the dude in Robin Hood men in tights where he can't when he was breaking away the castles. Like, all right, guys, you you don't pay, you lose your pay. <laughs> they took the whole castle, and next you know, you see Blinken sitting on the toilet. With a Playboy, that's us with the WWE that's so us you can see the boob that he's feeling. That's us with the WWE network. It's like they just took that shit away. It was like, nah, we're gone. We're oh, man. Yeah, but I don't know if anybody in the situation where um you lost your apartment and you try to get your shit two days later and everything's gone. That's where I was. <laughs> yeah, I remember when D told me he's like D. He's like Chris. They locked my stuff. They What's locked my shit up, up and my shit was gone like two days later. They let me get my shit, some shit, but. I remember, like, ah, I'm just going there tomorrow. I went over there tomorrow. I'm not like, yo. Yo, D, 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 D was rolling up in there, like, I'm going to get up in there ski mask way. Oh, shit. It's locked. Well, damn. Damn, <laughs> took all my shit. Whatever, man. Damn. <laughs> took my home. Um, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> my home. <laughs> took everything. <laughs> Anyways, folks. Oh, oh, what's next after a better tomorrow? You know what? I've been sitting thinking about that because um, uh, God. Oh no, we're gonna have fun next week. We're gonna have fun next week. We had trouble trying to figure out what uh, I was trying to figure out what um Jet Li movie to do because we switched up. We're not going to do um Fist of Legend because we're going to do um the the Legend of the Fist, which is the same fucking story. It's just that the Donnie Yen one is wider. So um. <laughs> So what Jet Li movie? Jet Li movie we're gonna do? We're gonna keep it fun. We're doing Unleashed next week. Oh sweet Jesus! The most depressing Jet Li movie. Hey, Her, Eris, Eris, I'm mad that we busted our nut way too early with the one. So let's have fun with Danny grabbing that motherfucking leech and saying no. <laughs> <laughs> and Morgan Freeman being blind. Morgan Freeman. I see. I was about no, to say. Morgan Freeman be, I mean, being like old friendly Negro. Well, as you know, and Bob Hoskins, I've seen, I've seen Hos- the trouble that you went through, not <laughs> physically, because I am blind. <laughs> and Bob Hoskins scowling in British the whole scowling movie. Scowling in British, <laughs> scowls, scowls, and <laughs> scowls and Cockney. Because let me tell you something, folks. <laughs> if you only know Bob Hoskins from his American movies, it kind of fucks you up. That you're like, oh shit, he is British. Damn, yo, he is British, British. That he is Cockney British. Like that's the motherfucker that walk around looks like he says the word bullocks at the end of. Uh, every- uh he's <laughs> a penguin from the Arkham Knight games. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good one, very good one. Actually, that's probably the best, the best depiction I've heard of Bob Hoskins and how he really is. But yeah, Not mine. yeah. <laughs> but we we finally get to um do another um do get a do another Bob Hoskins movie. And like I said, it's time for us to take out. 
a movie that needs to be taken out because we need to get rid of all these Jet Li movies that he did in America before we can enjoy maybe one or two movies that he did in China that we didn't touch. <laughs> yeah. Look, here's the funny thing. Jet Li has done a lot, but real talk, y'all, only like four or five of them are worth talking about. I mean, so, I, mean I mean, look, out of the Asian folks that, that came here to America and stuff, it's like Jet Li had a very interesting... You know what, man? Look, DMX died, RIP to him. I got to say, it's one thing if you're Jackie Chan, it's like, oh, I worked alongside Chris Tucker, it's great. But you ain't fucking you. You are not child. You you are not freaking Jet Li working alongside DMX twice. I'm just yeah. saying at some point, who can say that? Oh, well, technically three well, times. No, twice, twice. Yeah, twice, twice, twice. twice. Or twice. 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 Jason Statham. Twice. I'm thinking. Yeah, or Jason, Jason Statham. Statham. Like Jason who Statham. can really say that? It's like, yo, come on. Like that's that's dope. That, that's 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 interesting. Hell, man. And it's uh, real. Um, it's real great because I had uh, real great to know that. Jet Li's fine. He's just that. Hey, he's old. I'm old now, man. Hey, hey, I saw him in Mulan. I was like, hey, hey, hey Jet, what's up? You had when you have um when you have a thyroid problem that pumps out too much. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna kind of shrivel up a little bit. You're gonna have bone, bone, and I not bone dysplasia, but you know your bones are gonna be a little bit more brittle. Shit is gonna happen. Your body's gonna break down on you, man. It's like <laughs> you're constantly pumping it out. You know what I mean? Hold on. Not only that. See, first of all, let, let's let's also get this cleared up too. That picture that people saw of him, that really badly shot that one. Was bad. Bad. It was bad. I was that like, was whoa. Bad that was a bad one. That was, was a, a bad, bad. That was a bad. First of all, the sun was way too far on the left. And <laughs> it, was, it, was shining <laughs> down, fail, yeah. it was shining down the wrong angle. And it just made Jet Lee look so bad. Everybody was thinking that man was sick or some shit. He thought, I thought he was dying when I saw him. Now, people not, thought that, like, I no, Jet, was, like, dude, he's not. fine. He just, he just got old. And and he said himself that after Fearless, he was done doing you know doing big movies the like that. He wasn't doing movies like that again. Oh, he did. He, did he, them, he, but, he, yeah. do, he said he do wants to do action probably one more time, but he needs to hang. He knows he like this he is knows he, he knows he needs to hang. Hey, 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 hey. He, he needs he need to get sixty. He needs so to go like, ahead and. <laughs> You need to go in here, go with Jackie Chan, and be like, "So Chan, how you doing it? Oh, I got stunt doubles now, dog. I ain't doing this shit anymore." No, 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 no. no, 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 no I can hear, I can hear Jackie. I can, I can hear Jackie right now. Jackie would tell him, "Oh, like he would have a conversation with Jackie, right?" And he would ask him, "So that movie you did in England? Oh yeah, I was done. That was it." That was, that was it. it. That was it. Oh, we that was was done. The what about little, Chi- the little bit of stunt work you saw me doing that movie? I was done. Like, what about Chinese Zodiac? Oh, oh you really thought that was me going down that Man, hill? Let oh, me tell you something. Chinese I'm Zodiac. Sorry, oh, like, 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 like Chinese Zodiac, nigga. I shot that shit five years before people saw it. Yo, let me tell you something, Jet. This is where you fucking up. I got stunt doubles now. What? what? Oh, yeah, about five months. But the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> No, Jet Li, but for real, Jet Li, his stunt team finally, was, I mean, not Jet Li, Jackie Chan's stunt team was like, yo, Jet, Stop. are you sure? Yeah, I ain't going to do that no more. Hey, man, tell, tell, tell Trey to go up there and do that for me. <laughs> so I'm good. I'm That's a Chinese nigga named Trey. I'm going to sit off to the side and berate my uh, piece of shit son on the phone while he does his stunt. I'm so, you, I'm, I'm ashamed this nigga for drinking, for, for smoking marijuana. Wow, I vote for, <laughs> why I support for Trump. That's gonna, <laughs> why I support a government that's gonna crush all these all these young people for thinking they got a voice in Hong Kong. Fuck them niggas. It's like, I wish Nicholas Sai was my son. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> nah, nah. I had to have Chinese Timothy Daylight Ghetto over here. Puff, 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 puffing. <laughs> Folks, how much folks, 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 I got how much people to understand this. Like, you love Jackie Chan. How- Jackie Chan is just as much of a person. When you realize how much of a piece of shit person it is, like, yeah, Jackie Chan, just like I, just like man, a regular ass person. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. tell you something. Let me tell you something. See, Chris, as la- I know the real reason why you laughing that hard, because you know that's a deep ass cut. And you know for a fact, as much as he's had Nicholas in like how many movies? <laughs> how many? Bro, that was his protege for oh, you know, real. You know, his son was just pissed off at the end of what the fuck that movie he was in with Nicholas I, where they were like police people and shit. Oh, Gen X cops? Yeah, Gen X cops. You know, you know, his son, you know, Jack's son was looking at him like, I hate you. You spend more time with your dad than I do. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. I really hate you. <laughs> or, or, and you know what? I'm just going to say, 
Like, man, like your dad must be cool, man. Fuck him. Man, why you always say fuck your dad? Remember that girl he was fucking? He was married to my mama. I need a boy. He look, he like, mm-hmm. Fuck him. <laughs> I'm like, like, but bro, I mean, she, she, she cheated on my mama. Fuck him. I'm like, but bro, you gotta let that go, man. She died. No, 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 no. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. No, no, no. Fuck, fuck him. him. Fuck him. Silly. No, no, no. This is what you say. <laughs> this is what you say. Was you in that house when he, when he was cheating on? Hmm? Was you in that house when, he, when my mama was crying? Was you there? Was Shut you, up. <laughs> was you in that house when he was balls deep in her? Huh? I'm over here hearing. Uh, uh, uh. She's speaking weak Chinese with her jet. <laughs> all, all, all of a sudden, my mom busted. All of a sudden, my mom busted in the room while he was mid stroke. He said, "I don't want no trouble." Perfect. As he flipped over a couch. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Combat rolled over now. a couch. Because now, because now, shut up! Because now, I just straight up see Jackie flipping backwards. Photo errors. Total earth, cause the age shit. Flip me backwards. Right before he flips backwards, you hear two like something fuck. <laughs> you know why you're <laughs> anyway. Um he flips backwards. His wife is doing like mid-range like fight moves. And Jackie's like doing all the dodging and shit. He puts up a lamp, she breaks it. He puts up a pillow, she rips it. He puts up, he picks up Nina Moy, he punches her, he goes, <laughs> and throws it to the side. <laughs> and turns into a straight up Jackie <laughs> And only, and only because and first of all, and only because Anita has done enough action movies she could take a hit and a bump. <laughs> she can take a bump. She can take a bump. She's fine. She fine. She, she take a bump. Hey D, are you gonna give a good dark jump? Yes I will. She know how to take a punch. And she upset Jackie that one time. <laughs> and we went dark. Ladies and gentlemen, that Ladies is and gentlemen it. this has been a wonderful podcast. I'm glad we did this. <laughs> uh, have a happy Saturday. Peace. Happy Saturday, peace, y'all.